everybody welcome to that gaming show let me switch out the uh, background there so it's the better one and there we go all right gang as you can see shotgun sean dyed his hair and uh you know grew a beard so uh no shotgun sean is a little uh under the weather out of pocket or whatever we want to call it today he's got something going on on with his eye for the last couple of days and uh it's bad enough that he may go see a doctor tomorrow, so uh, send some well wishes over at Sean, and uh, we hope they get that taken care of. Uh, but oh, let me get rid of that banner too, dear. It's so much harder to do the whole show than it is uh, not. So I haven't had a chance to set up Galga guy here for uh, you know throwing comments up on the screen and stuff. So I'm gonna be um, yeah, this is gonna be fun time. Sure. <laughs> Well, thanks again for, for coming on on such short notice. I really appreciate it, man. Absolutely. Uh, otherwise, it's going to be like a five-minute show, you know? Yeah. 
Uh, and I have no energy. I don't know why I'm, I think the shower I just took woke me up because, uh, Many of you guys know, full disclosure, I have a business relationship with that games, especially uh, related to the um, Pinball 4K products, and today was a launch day, so I've been busy the last several days and a long one today. So, hope everybody that uh, ordered their Gottlieb packs, got them all installed and everything, did their firmware updates, and hopefully didn't have any hitches. Um, you know, if you do, please go ahead and contact customer support, and they'll be you know, more than happy to help you out. And I'll keep my eyes peeled for any of your your names if I see them in the queue. Um, but yeah, that's that. So that's why I'm the way I am. And I am celebrating that I survived another launch day. So cheers, brother. All right. Ritual Devil says he loves that shirt. I bet he does because he bought me this shirt. Let's go ahead and try to <laughs> knock over my shite behind me. This would be my uh, Gibson Les Paul. That is so cool. Blue shirt. I, oh, it's so comfy too. The wife felt this shirt. She goes, um, "That's mine." I said, "Yeah, not." <laughs> is it like a silky material? Is that it's what it it's is? one of those yeah softy yeah. M oh. materials. Yeah, it's it's not it uh, it's not like a cotton t-shirt. It's it's. It's maybe poly. I'm not sure. I didn't look at the tag. It just feels and looks great. And yeah, Jason, that shirt pops. All right. I'm going to apologize if I don't get everybody's comments up on the screen because, you know, there's already 20 of us here. And I, for some reason, the thing is acting slow right now. Every time I click on these to, to pop them on, they're like taking a, a half a second extra and it's pissing me off. So let me just welcome everybody here really fast. We got Jason Little Alien, uh, Ralph Reed. Ralph, I sent you the note. You said you sent me an email. We're cool. Uh, of course, I've got uh, Galga Guy in the house, Biggie D's Arcade, uh, Mike Hawk Hurts, Burger Time Babe, da, 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 MSU Rich, Sacro, Head Shake TV, da, Scrolly, 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 Keep Scrolling, Bobby One ALU. Scrolly, scrolly, scrolly. Did I miss anybody there? Nope. Keep going. Uh, Herb Wars. Haven't Herb seen you Wars. in a while. If, if you have, and I haven't noticed you in the chat, I'm sorry. That's what happens when you produce the show. Uh, Rebel. Cool. Gamer Fridge. Da, 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 da. And Kevin Clausen. I think I got everybody. Woohoo! I think so, yes. All right. Let me scroll through here, see if there's anything really cool I need to slap on here. Uh, Talking about uh, found that saloon pinball place you liked on Pinball Map. Pinball Map is great. If anybody doesn't know about that app, Galga, got you use it? Oh, yeah, absolutely. Um, <clears throat> whenever I went on vacation, um, I had that out, and I ended up finding this gas station that said it had a couple pinball tables. Sweet. Whenever I got there, there was literally like four rooms full of pinball tables. It was insane. I was like, this is a gas station. <laughs> they walked up, and I was just like, all right, whatever. And all of a sudden, you open the doors, and it was like this whole thing. So I love that app. Yeah. Uh, now, do you take the time to be a good citizen and update it? Um, no. Uh, <laughs> okay. Because that's the thing about <laughs> Pinball Map is it is not kind of they, – they don't have a crew like Google does going out doing street maps and shit. They, they count on you know us, the users – to uh, update. Luckily, the place I went to this weekend only had 14 pinball tables, and they were all the same ones in the, in the thing. Uh, that, I think they've bought a new pinball table in like two years. So, uh, well, no, one year. So uh, I got lucky there. But yeah, every time, you know, even if you just do one update, if you say, oh, no, they, for some reason they don't have uh, Star Wars anymore. All right, we'll just scratch that off. You know, it helps, guys. So, but if, if anybody else doesn't know what it is about... Like I said, it's an app. It's Android or iPhone, and you it looks up based upon user entries of what what uh, establishments have pinball machines. You'll see as little as one, or you'll see as many as a hundred and change. So very cool app. I didn't even realize that you could do that. So I guess I'll have to start doing it whenever I see places and update it. I didn't uh, know that was a thing. Let me see if I could turn on my Air server on my computer and get my phone up on the screen i probably can and we could show this off to people who are like what the f is he talking about all right uh, i'm see. one of those people right now i have no idea <laughs> <laughs> i'm like wow you can do that I all right let me see it. here screen mirroring to my laptop god i love this app the coolest thing in the world it costs money but you know things that are, are worth it uh you know they cost money man all right, pinball app. Here we Absolutely. go. Or pinball map. There we go. And launch. 
bring this over here and share the screen and present share a screen with all my friends air server everybody's your friend i got lots of friends all right so here we go this like i can actually put us there because it won't interfere too much and we get that off the screen so yes pinball map so right now that blue dot's where i am i'm going to move it a little bit so you don't see where i live uh but if you look in the general area and just say search this area there's literally one pinball machine in the city of richmond kentucky i know exactly where it's at it, it's at a pizza joint called uh uh, Apollo Pizza, and it's an Indianapolis 500 machine. So there it is, Indianapolis 500, Bally 1995. Last updated by somebody, says they're January 19th, 2024. You could literally just tap on that and either add a comment to it or go ahead and say remove the machine from the database. Now, just like, uh, okay. just like Wikipedia, if you, you know, are a jerk and start messing with things your account will be you know canceled and shit and stuff but like let's say that apollo pizza went ahead and got themselves a i don't know let's pick a table here you search by pick pick a table uh go go guy uh attack from mars that's like one of my uh, favorite afm love that one bally 95 boom you would click that and then you would make notes and add it and that would show up in the map for everybody else and they would see that the, that place now has attack from Mars. So that easy to do it. <clears throat> um, also, people do make comments on these. Um, see if I can find, let's go to Lexington where I was just the other day. Search this area, the one with 18, uh -huh. is it 18 now? The wow. Burrow Arcade, there we go. And so these were the pinball tables that were where I was at <clears throat> the other day. And if maybe one of them is broken or something, I probably should have actually made a lot of notes on these because unfortunately this establishment, I'm sorry guys if you're watching this, but uh, one of your customers pointed this out to me while I was there that several of the tables are not leveled. Um, mm. Yes. And not of course good. that that affects gameplay. Um, so when you're pay, play, uh, paying a dollar to play, to me that that's important, you know? So, but yeah, let's say that uh, their old Frank Thomas Big Hurt, something was wrong with it. Uh, you could go ahead and, you know, make some comments in there. They also keep track of scores here, which I, I didn't take the time to do because they actually had a nice little um, chalkboard showing all the high scores for all the tables. But, uh, you know, you could easily go ahead and just add a high score right there for the table you're at and, and, and keep there. Not just for their, you know, their tracking, but for yours. You know, keep track of your best score of a table and stuff. So very cool app. And as you saw, literally, you just go ahead and find something. Let's say, let me, where I grew up, Coral Springs, Florida. Let me see if I can find stuff there. There we go. Coral Springs, Florida. And just zoom out a little bit and say refresh. And sure enough, there's a couple of establishments with pinball machines. Uh, just go ahead and find what that one. That's such a cool thing. Like, I wonder who thought of this because it's like, who would think to like, hey, people want to know where pinballs at? Let's make an app. Well, and you could do better <laughs> than that too. I think if you really wanted to, you could search for a table. If I said Godzilla, let's see. I don't know if this search does it or if there's another search, but I swore there was a way I could find out where people had Godzillas. Yeah, maybe that's not it. Uh, I do have my saved locations, where I've been, blah, 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 and my profile. So, yeah, totally cool app if you're into finding uh, pinball machines in your area. Oh, look, they have a bunch over there, over by the beach. Of course they do by the beach, but they're all small yes. ones. Nothing, no, nobody has more than four. What, what, what is that location? The Funky Buddha Brewery. Oh, they have the new Jaws? Yeah, they got Jaws Pro. 2024 and Venom Pro. Looks like you're heading back home, man. You're going to go back home and, <laughs> <laughs> and play some pinball. So it sounds yeah, like. <laughs> no. Fl Florida's a long way to go to play pinball, so I'm not doing that. So, I really wish, yeah, I wish I would have had this app because there's been some places I go to, and there's one arcade me and my wife went to, and they had four, and I think three of them had issues where the ball gets stuck or, like, you could tell they weren't managing them very well, and I wish I could have warned people, like, hey, by the way, these aren't. Now, let me see. Did this actually work for me when I was in Paris? Let me see. Paris, France. I'm looking it up real quick before I throw it on the screen because, you know, Paris, oh. France, and search. 
Um, yeah. Is that the Chandelier? Yeah, I can put this back on here. Bonjour, Shama Pils Gallagher guy. <laughs> there is a place called the Paris Pinball Museum with 178 flapping tables. Yes, I wow. said it. 178 tables at this place. Okay, it's... so we're going to go to Paris and we're going to play every single table. It'll only take us like eight days. We'll, we're going to do it. <laughs> I mean, just look at that <laughs> list. I mean, we got, we got tables from 1956, 1948. Barnacle Bill from Gottlieb. Holy moly. So Buccaneer from Gottlieb. A lot of Gottlieb's in there. But it's a museum, of course. So do you think they had the old ones like that before the flaps even and the really, really old ones just have like the the ones that were illegal because they banned them. They just had like the, the plunger and that's it. Like, I wonder if they do had not that. know. Let me turn off uh, screen mirroring now. Put that back to my phone. Butamus. So, yeah, totally international, global, uh, you know, we'll call it. I mean, we, we saw here a couple of states uh, in, in the U.S., and then we jumped over to freaking Europe and found pinball machines. So totally cool app if you guys haven't used it before, uh, but you like finding you know places to play games, that's the way to go. I, I, I literally used it when I was in Paris because we were right down by the Eiffel Tower and found a uh, you know, couple of uh, small shops that had a pinball machine or two. It was interesting. Yeah, right, it's go that, it comes here. in handy, sure, especially if you're in an area you don't really know. And you try to Google stuff like, oh, arcade near me or, you know, pinball near me. And it kind of just gives you kind of a shotgun type of scenario. Uh, and it just like sprays everything at you. So this kind of narrows it down to what you actually want to play. So that's cool. Yeah, I mean, especially if you're – oh, look, uh, Jason went ahead and put a link up there for uh, how to use it. It's actually online as well. I do recall that. Let me see. Pinball, I can't even type right now. I'm so tired. Pinballmap.com. <laughs> and sure as shite. Let's go ahead and share that. Um, da, 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 da. You can even do this from a handy dandy web browser there on your pooter. Let's get us off the side. <laughs> so there you go. We're going, oh, here it was looking for a machine. So we said uh, attack from Mars. And uh, what general area do you live in? Like the major uh, metropolitan area? Uh, Columbus, Ohio. Let's say that. Columbus, Ohio. That's good enough. Yeah. All right. So we say Columbus, Ohio. We're looking for attack from Mars. And go. What? <laughs> okay. Try Cincinnati, Ohio. That's the next kind of... Uh... I know since he does. Yeah. Whoops. Let's see. Type that again. Comma. Ohio. Uh, did I type since he wrong? I think there's like. There. Oh, there go. it is. There it is. Fudge. Oh, I hate. What I know. I almost had it. <laughs> I was just about there. No, that's wrong. Okay. Uh, it's got to be. It totally. How has about to be. Cleveland? Cleveland's the other big Ohio place. It's not in Cleveland. Uh, I mean, apparently. unless I'm, you know, I'm saying the machine wrong. Attack from Mars is the way it's supposed to be. Uh, yeah. Is the way it's said. Yeah, it's not. Da, da, a lot da, of people da, get da, Mars uh, attack and attack from Mars mixed up. Let's see. We do results when map is moved. Uh, let's see. Can hmm. I refresh the map there? That is so Mars. weird. You think that would be like? That's like. Try Godzilla. Yeah. Maybe, 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 Godzilla. Maybe, maybe the uh, the on the the table search is uh, not as good as it used to be. Oh, here we go. That's what it was. I didn't choose the specific table. Oh, okay. So let's see a uh, Godzilla Pro in near um, Columbus. Yeah, Biggie V said um, Attack from Mars Valley nineteen ninety five is what you need to click. That's yeah. That's what broke. Yep. So there we go, Columbus, Ohio. There's there the locations go. that have uh, Godzilla Pro. So we can go over here, uh, over by uh, just east of Whitehall, and there's a place called Heart State Brewing on uh, Cross Point Road. And sure as shite, there's Attack from Mars right there. I don't know where to go. <laughs> And if you want to know more about the tables, hell, they go ahead and cross-reference to two other places, Pin Tips and I, uh, the IPDB, 
the Internet uh, Pinball Database. So that is your public service announcement for today is Pinball Map, both on your phone and on the webs. Nice. Uh, let's see. And uh, yeah, remember to call out that we got a block console fanboy. No, you don't have to. All right. Uh, <laughs> I will. I will. <laughs> Big D's is calling out where I live. Yes, where I live, there is only one pizza joint that has, uh, you know, a pinball machine. And by the way, only one pizza joint out of all of them delivers to my flapping house. And it's actually a local place. The big chains won't. Because I'm in such a place that... I could show you a video from four years ago from my ring doorbell, or not my ring doorbell, my ring camera on my driveway showing a cow walking across my driveway who escaped from one of the neighbor's uh, fields. Yes. That was a very fun video. It's just hilarious. That was um, one of the questions whenever we uh, um, were thinking about moving, and I was like, okay, can we get pizza here? That's like my main question. <laughs> well, see, I, I, I was torn between can I get pizza delivered or can I get gigabit Ethernet or yeah. Internet? So yeah. I, I luckily got gigabit uh, Internet, so I was OK with that. The wife got her two and a half, three acres, whatever we have on a pond, big old yard for the dog to run out oh, around yeah. in. So Sean stopped in and says, thanks for the love, Gallagher guy. Yeah. Thanks for coming on course it's gonna be a great show so some issues with his eye an infection or a scratch wishing us a great show he will watch the replay later because right now he's he's squinting with one eye going i'm trying to type this and it probably took forever just to type that one little bit right there so it's it's no he's definitely had, rocking the pirate patch Arr. yeah all right yeah i've had people <laughs> that i know has eye injuries and man i tell you even just a little scratch and it's like you're down like it's it's awful. So Sean, hopefully uh, you get you get feeling better soon, and uh, yeah, get back on here because everyone's a little disappointed that I'm on here right now because I'm just I can't be you. I, I just can't. It could have been worse. They could have been stuck with just me. So yeah, <laughs> that, that that would have really that uh... may have been better in the end. We don't know how the show's going to end. <laughs> All right, Ralph, you did send me something uh, March twentieth. How the hell did that happen? I don't know how I missed that. Maybe it wasn't you that uh, was missing the uh, their information. Oh. Hey, guys at Ettensoft, if you're watching, whose information did we need? Just let me know. I'm going to go check out our Discord chat and see if I missed something. Because I swore I did forward that email, so it can't be Ralph. Oh. Son of a gun. Let's look at the pinned messages here with these guys. Nope, there's Papa Brad stuff. There's uh, MG's. Oh, wait, I just shared MG's address on the screen. No, I didn't. No, I was going to say, I didn't see it pop up. He says, do I know Ralph's full name and stuff? I swore. I I think the boys were uh, a little bit drunk when I sent this to them. Oh, they're, <laughs> they're like, could you please dox this person for us real quick? What is his name and address? <laughs> yeah, it's literally right here. <laughs> Look at this stuff. I mean, okay. Uh, let me copy yeah. the message link and send it down in the bottom here, and go, dudes. You had his info. Answer uh, Jason's question. What I'm, what am I drinking tonight? Woodford. This is full. Whenever I started. <laughs> <laughs> That's how I know it's going to be a good show. That's uh, how I know. No, I, I just went ahead and did my usual. Uh, uh, Jim Beam, uh, Kentucky Fire, with a splash of Diet Dr. Pepper. I may switch to uh, whiskey and Coke because it's too easy to, yeah, you're sipping on it, and you're like, oh, that's gone. Let's fill it up. Oh, that's gone. Let's fill it up. Yeah. <laughs> well, I mean, that, that that's bourbon. a good bourbon. So, yeah. All right, let's see here. Some more well wishes for Sean. Uh, what's okay? I got to say? I didn't get much work done today. Oh, well, that sucks. All right. Blah, 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 blah. Wait. 28 more? We already got a sub? That reminds me. I was supposed to cover what the hell's going on around here, right? Jeez. Yes. All right, let's cover the, the road Absolutely. to 1,000. Then I want to I want to know what you've been doing this last week. So let's look at the road to 1,000. And according to somebody right now says, uh, Scott, you're at 972 uh, possibly. I was oh, at nine, we're at 973. You're currently at 973. We gained two subs just be, uh, since the show started. That puts us up exactly 29 from last week. 
We were at 944 when we ended the show. We're at 973 now. Math in my head says 29 in the last week, and that is 27 to go. Now, I'm not sure, guys, if um, YouTube gives me that cool little email. They used to send you plaques. They don't do that shit for 1000 For 1000 they're like, yes, uh-huh, sure, good for you. We'll send you a few pennies. You know, you're, you're not Mr. Beast, so go away <laughs> now. All right. Um, but, yeah, you know, we're, we're 27 away, and that's going to be a big, big, big show. It's getting the giveaways are past have passed a thousand dollars right now. If I do the math in my head, Killer Instinct Arcade One Up Cab, uh, courtesy of Bobby to Die for Vu, uh, portable retro gun box, the upgraded version from Joel from Retro Lizard Custom Arcades, Ritual Della ponying up an Anchor Quest Two charging dock. Uh, see Goofy Foot, a big blue in box, uh, and again for these big items. By the way, uh, there's going to be you know. You pay shipping if you win. And then I've got some guitar gear coming along. I got a friend of mine, uh, a recent friend, who does a lot of 3D printing for accessories for uh, the smallest amp I have. Where's that amp? Hold on a second. I got. I think I've shown it before, but... Da, da, da. Here we go, here we go. This little bad boy. Yeah. I mean, the only amp I have smaller than that is actually this one that I'm going to be reviewing tonight. That one is actually plugs straight into the guitar and goes out to headphones or, you know, pipe it out to a speaker. But uh, this guy does a lot of cool things for this little Spark uh, Go amp, making like um, 3D printed um, new grills, uh, things that hold it, uh, let's say, on a tripod or put it on your guitar strap or put it on your belt and stuff. And he actually 3D printed a buttload of these things for me. And uh, some are going to be giveaways on that giveaway show for those who are, you know, coming to me from the guitar side of the world. Um, I've got a wireless guitar system to give away. Um, I've got a looper pedal. Uh, where is that bad boy? Oh, man, this is something I'm beta, I'm, I'm beta testing a looper pedal right now uh, for the um, Spark Amps by Xsonic called the U-Looper. And when this comes out in production, they're going to send me two more, one to uh, show and one to go. So, so is there anything with that? I know you're doing a review, but that small one you're talking about. Yes, the um, Boss saw, Katana Go. Yeah, I saw your short that you were working on it. Now, does that just basically your guitar sound itself? Like you can't really do any type of other noise or sound with it? Is it just the basic like? No, it is a, it, if you're familiar with a Katana amp, the Katana amps are um, by Boss. I got a huge one over there, 100 watt. Um, and they do amp modeling. They model different styles of amps as well as I think it has like 60 boss effect pedals built into it. So literally I can go ahead and put an overdrive and a compressor and a, and a gate, whatever order I want before the amp, after the amplifier. And I can, of course I can modify the amp and say, I want it to be a British sound uh, or a Brown sound and then modify all would be on that amp. Then I could go ahead and modify or add on delay, reverb, chorus, flange, trem, everything I want, and make a huge chain and save it as a preset. Uh, so all, all of that magic that's normally on my big old 100 watt amp that has shit, 15 knobs and stuff uh, is all baked into this. This is the brains of a katana uh, with an OLED display. Let's see, can I turn that bad boy on? There you go. Dude, that is awesome, man. And I can, and it has thirty presets. So you use your your phone, uh, import some presets, modify your presets, whatever, and then you've got thirty different styles of play on this, and take it with you. And um, yeah, is, is MG here? Is he already getting bored of, of guitar talk? Uh, let's see. <laughs> let's see. Major giveaway. Yep, yep, yep. And scroll up. Oh yeah. Galloping I, I... ghost. Yeah, that that shows up really well <laughs> on there yeah share it wherever you can man we gotta get to a thousand subs all those giveaways and stuff being able to support the channel like if everybody here tonight 29 people if we all shared everywhere we could have this by next week someone could be exactly. in the killer instinct cab by next week. I, I i had this dream of having hitting the thousand by the end of march once i had that huge you know growth spurt but I'm uh, like, uh, that, that's, uh, let's not, you know, be hasty here. I don't see that happening. But uh, you got a shout out for your Galaga cab behind you there. Oh, thank you. 
Now, that's a legit Galaga cab, of course. That's not a yeah. three-quarter scale. That is the real deals. Yes. Uh, is that just Galaga? It's not one of those mix-ups, uh, mash-ups? It, it actually is a, a mix-up mash-up right now. Okay. <laughs> um, so so you, you, I, you put in the class of 81 board or whatever it is? Uh, I'm going to eventually. Right okay. now, I'm kind of a... It's kind of, I got so many projects in the works that I got this because it came up and it was such a good price. And I was like, ah, like I want to grab this. And, um, but yeah, it's a, uh, I love it so far, even with the, uh, it's a 60 and one in there right now. So even with that, like, okay. I, you know, it's, it's better than what I already had. <laughs> yes. All right. Let's see. And you are the cool college professor that doesn't give homework. There you go. Listen, guys, just go out and experience life. <laughs> you don't need to be working at home. Learning things from a book. Oh, let's the see. The world here. is your book. And Biggie D says, I'm in the sticks. Hell yes, I am. Totally off grid, buddy. There we go. God darn, this thing is slow today. Look at Dubs, 28 to go. And by the way, shout out to Dubs, who gave me a shout out uh, on both his Facebook um, profile and on um, his YouTube community section. Went ahead, gave some shout outs, and I do swear that, that kicked me up a few, so thank you very much. And which one am I missing? MG, he just put it on there. He said, I look like the shark expert from Jaws. He kind of does, doesn't he? We're going to need a bigger boat. All right. We're going to need a bigger boat. Oh, shite. I, I, I've missed a flapping, uh, whatchamacallit, super chat. Cheers, bro. I'm, I'm halfway done or more, but... Thank you very much, Jason. I'm almost done with this. I might have to switch up. If my if Burger Babe is still on here, she might just bring me a drink. I don't know. Yeah, my wife is asleep already. We, we are babysitting uh, the granddaughter again tonight. So she's like, I'm feeling a little under the weather, so I'm going to call it a night. And um, don't say this out loud. Just, okay, fine. Um, <laughs> I'm sure he's talking about either BJ's Restaurant or BJ's The... Um, like Costco kind of place, the warehouse place. Sure. Yeah. Biggie absolutely. D says we could be at 1K by next week. Hell yeah. Let's see. Uh huh, uh huh, uh huh. The one going, going over. We're going to go way over. All right. Let's see. Um, I'm not sure what we mean by this. Come on. This thing is so slow. I should. I knew I should have rebooted before I, uh, you know, did the show today. It was one of those days where the, the laptop is like, I think it's going to handle it, but that other app I was using, its sound was a little distorted, so I'm thinking this might not be a good thing. Uh, <laughs> MG, did uh, resub? No, no, don't lie. You didn't unsub, did you? If you did, you're a dick. All right. Uh, da, 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 da. Yep, I'm catching up on these. And boom. All right, so without further ado, Galga Guy, tell us what's been happening in your neck of the woods to be at gaming did you catch a movie uh any good tv series you want to you know tell us all about that we have to watch you got the floor um, buddy well i am someone i will tell you that i have two kids two and under so i don't get to catch up on a lot of things <laughs> so um some of my suggestions might be a little uh, go old go for yeah. it yeah um so uh, i actually uh just uh we, my wife got me to this The Good Doctor. I don't know if you ever seen that show or not. My, my wife's very uh, fond of that one. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we're like four seasons into that one. So she's been like every night. She's like, oh, like we should watch another episode. So that's what we've kind of been watching on that. Um, and there's, otherwise, besides that, we're usually watching like Mickey Mouse Clubhouse and Bluey and. <laughs> ah, Bluey. Yes. And, and unfortunately, I, I love Bluey to death. I, I can't even say a bad thing about Bluey. My, my granddaughter wants to watch it. I'm like, Sitting down. Yeah, yeah. The, the, only, like, kid, the only kid thing I watched that was better than Bluey, and you can still catch it on, on replay, by the way, guys, is I don't know if you saw that Disney did a deal with ESPN a couple weeks ago where they took a live hockey game, and they went ahead and superimposed the animation from Big City Greens on onto this what? game. So basically, it was a live translation of the game being called out, you know, if you go to ESPN, you saw the exact same game, maybe a second or two uh, ahead of time, being played in a cartoon. It was awesome. My, oh, my, you know, here I was, 
actually watching a hockey game because you know <laughs> it was, that's what it was. They, they were called the, the regular players out and everything. Um, yet my granddaughter was watching a cartoon. We were experiencing the same thing from a different point of view, and it was awesome. And see, they they didn't have to do that at all. And it's like the fact that they took the details and they did do that. It's like it just makes it so much better. That's why I think that that show like catches so many. Um, MG, come on now, um, but uh, yeah, uh, thank you. Hello, love. Burger time, babe. Here. She brought me. A if drink. we were neighbors, she could bring me a refill. Golly. Yes. <laughs> she brought me. <laughs> My wife has done that in the past on days that she actually was awake and watching the show. I'd go ahead and you know go like this, and magically a drink would show up. But yet, not anymore. Yeah. I'm going to keep watching upstairs. <laughs> All right, cool. <laughs> Okie dokie. Yeah. Um, as far as uh, games I've been playing and, and stuff, um, I recently, I actually I think I've said on the show before that I got a Steam Deck <laughs> a few months ago. Um, I got to play mine uh, some more. I've I got a few more Steam games that are supposed to be really good on Steam Deck, and uh, I, I want to play some more. Yeah, and I've never had a PlayStation. Like, I don't, I, I have an Xbox and a, and a Steam Deck, so I never got to play Spider Man ever. So once I got a Steam Deck, I was like, I get to play Spider Man. So <laughs> I'm in the. Well, I that's a, that's a cool thing. I when yeah. I got the Steam Deck, um, I used that at first to play Last of Us Part One. Um, yeah. Later, found out that it's a bad thing to do, and I played on my PC later. But still, <laughs> that's how I was playing it on my TV. It was awesome. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. So uh, I might have to look into that too. Even though you said it's terrible, like, it's not very good on there. Or... Oh, it, it's it's much better now. When it first came okay. out, it was. It was a pig on the PC, uh, and I'm talking a PC with a 3070. No, actually, this has a 4070 in it. Uh, and, yeah, it was, it was a pig on there, and then you, it would take you, like, the first time it came out, it took an hour to rebuild the shaders on Steam Deck. And then after the, uh, the pre-shaders were built, you'd play, and depending upon what was on the screen, you might get yourself a good 15, 20 minutes of play before it crashed the whole thing reboot city it didn't even just exit the game it it rebooted the whole os on on the steam deck and you're sitting here waiting patiently for like it's literally like three minutes for a steam deck to reboot itself and uh, it finally gets there you start the game it's going to cache a few more shaders again why not and then you get back in you played 15 minutes and you know sean was kind of like my uh wingman on on discord have, have me put up with this going yeah, crashed again. Fuck this thing. Oh, nope, no. Nope, nope. <laughs> so finally I decided to try it on the PC, and it was such a good experience. I literally played the rest of the game on Twitch um, for several nights and, and burned through it that way. Oh, well, it's um, it's definitely been a new experience. I've never done any PC gaming myself. Usually I'm always, you know, I've been a console guy. So it's that, been that, was a, that was a cool thing about that, is if you were yeah. able to dock it, you were basically getting the console experience of PC exactly. gaming. So, exactly, nice. exactly. Because I dock it to my TV, and I'd sit there mm-hmm. and have a Xbox controller. I'd sit there and play it like that, like, hey. Um, uh, so uh, I never played a single Spider-Man game. You didn't play a single Spider-Man game? Oh my goodness, you gotta play. <laughs> like, I only play the first one. I'm like, dude, if I, the second one was here now, I'd buy it. But um, yeah, so I beat that this week. Um, been I got back into Cuphead a little bit because I hate myself. Uh. I know. I mean, the game is great, but it's what it is totally a rage quit game. Mm-hmm. Uh, you know, you, you'll play that game, and unfortunately, there's sometimes you 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 can't go any. Sometimes you have a choice of one or two paths, but then there's when you get to a place where this is the only path you got to do, and son of a gun, you'll always get yourself about ninety percent through that scene and die at the last second, whether it's yep. some, you know, because it's always basically boss, boss, boss is what you're facing yeah. in these things. And you'll you'll figure out the timing on the one. You get the timing on the other. And then that last one, you got, oh, yeah, I remember this. I remember this. And, oh, shit. And exactly. the thing is, you got to go through them all again. It's yeah. not just go back to that last, you know, fight you were doing. It's the whole frigging level or scene, as I call them, in yeah. that game. And after a while, now have you tried doing a uh, couch co-op with uh, Mrs. Burger Time on that? No, not yet. Usually, um, I, it's on my Switch, so okay. 
that's why the Steam Deck and the Switch is great for me because, again, I have got two kids, two and under. So it's like they have the TV, so I have something I can sit and play while they're watching whatever they want to do. So right now we haven't done that, but, I mean, I wouldn't – I don't know if she's ever even played it before, but uh, it'd definitely be an experience. It, that it, 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 it is – it helps a lot with the co-op <laughs> because one player will die. You can resurrect the, the, the dead player or something or grab their ghost or some shit. Uh, yeah. So it helps you – just that little extra bit. As long as the other person has some skills. Uh, if the person is literally a bullet magnet, uh, it's not going to help you at all. But if the person has just enough skills to help you advance, they basically become almost a extra life for you. Yeah. Um, uh, two, uh, the other game I have been playing, which my wife got me into, Burger Time, babe, um, she uh, loved Tekken. I never was really a Tekken guy, but she got me to Tekken 8, and I can't stop playing it. Like, I don't know what it is. Like, every time I'm like, oh, I got like 10 minutes, I'm going to put Tekken on. And uh, I fight these people online, and I've never been much into fighters either, but for some reason, Tekken has just, like, put me in this whole different world. And I don't know how you are fighting online with games like that, but, like, it gets my adrenaline going, and I can only do, like, four or five like matches and i'm like all right i have to take a break because i'm about ready to pass out <laughs> like it feels like i'm like the whole time because it's like the boss battle but every time you play is like a yep. big boss battle <laughs> and you're trying to learn everyone's skills and things like that so uh, that's what uh that's what uh, i've been playing mostly uh those games um on another show i forgot to mention which again older but my wife uh has never um played our watch Dragon Ball Z like ever in her life, like <laughs> never. So we've watched all of Dragon Ball Z and we're into Dragon Ball Super now, and we're almost to the tournament of power. Whoever knows what I'm talking about, like um, mm -hmm. it is like, and I keep like anticipating like, oh, this is where it gets real good. Like Dragon Ball Super is kind of eh, compared to Z, but once you get to tournament of power, it's whenever it's like the rubber hits the road, and that is like you're like what the whole time. So I'm excited to watch her watch that. <laughs> cool yeah 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 let me address but, this one real quick al you sh if you own an adams family pinball machine you should not have to rebuy uh adams family if something went wrong and during your firmware update and you only found you had 14 tables instead of 15 something went wrong um and uh you know the first step should have been to call contact customer service who would have given you some instructions on how to maybe do a factory reset, delete some data, or whatever it took to get you uh, that um, that fix. Now, you can still reach out to customer service and let them know what happened, and um, I'm sure they can you know work with you to, A, get your built-in table back, and B, do something about this purchase you did. Um, you know, I, I don't know what they can do, but reach out and see if they can help you out on that because I, I don't want you to have to buy a table you didn't need to buy. All right. Yeah. Sorry about that. Had to jump I in. No, no, no. And that that's one thing that I will say about that games. I, I just have, I don't have the 4K yet, but I know that that had issues too. And it seems like at games, um, they listen and they get on stuff and they, they, they try to fix it um, to the best of their abilities as quickly as possible. So. I, I am a lot more confident with them than I am. Uh, I am other companies that have home arcades um, that they're going to, they're definitely going to fix things. So um, yeah. So th just keep that in mind. Um, could be totally wrong for all I know, but the, uh, it's, the, it's worth a shot, but uh, yeah. Yeah, anybody out there, I've heard a few reports of people who during the firmware update process, uh, it didn't do a complete update because um, for some reason or another, there, uh, part of the uh, update is updating what they call internal components. And if the machine and the database on the server are not in sync or maybe there's a timing error uh, or something, then um, the internal components, which include the built-in games for that model, don't get downloaded. Uh, I've seen a couple of cases of that, but uh, if this happens, contact customer support. Uh, they have some, you know, pre-done steps to get you where you need to go and should be able to get you up and running in less than 30 minutes. So yeah. definitely want to point that out. And the reason I can say this guys again, for disclosure, for those who weren't here in the beginning, I have a business relationship with at games, uh, especially with the legends, 4k pinball products. 
So um, that is my full disclosure. Anything <laughs> I say about at games is my own opinion, or as well as anything I state is public knowledge. I cannot and will not, due to NDAs, say anything I'm not supposed to. So there, I'm not going to wink or blink or nothing about anything. Yeah. Okay. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I, I got I got to be legal about this, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, absolutely. otherwise I will have Rex or Patrol on my butt, and uh, so far I haven't. So I, Been there, I, done I must that. be I must be doing something good. All right, uh, let's see the here. Other, um, the only other thing that I've been working on is this thing. I've been trying to get parts ordered, as well as um, you know, this is a sixty and one. Um, a lot of the games aren't lined up like I like. You know, Galaga. Obviously, there's certain parameters I like to have to play it. Mm -hmm. as close as you can to Galaga. So I had to figure out how to get in the board and be able to switch and do all that. And as well as Burger Time's on there. My wife wanted to trap Burger Time on it. So that's what else I've been working on too as but far as Don't my... I see Burger Time over there on the other machine right there, the one that is Burger Time? Yeah. Okay. Yes, just, just but saying. she wanted to try it out on this one. So she was like, <laughs> let me just see what this is like. So I was like, all right, well, I got to go in there and make sure it's like the right because it'll – they had stuff programmed in there that I didn't understand. It was like you got – on Galaga, usually it's at 20,000, you get an extra life, and then every 70 after that, you get another life. This one, it gave you four lives to begin with instead of three, and then no more lives ever again. So I'm like, this is not how you play Galaga. Nope, that's <laughs> so not. I had to, at least the ones I know. I could be wrong, but that's the ones I always know. Now, there are several uh, yeah. dip switch settings in Galaga on the yeah. traditional machine for yeah. uh, doing that. So, yeah. Yeah. Um, let's see here. Ar the Arcade Museum has an article about that. Blah, 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 blah. Know, the fast shooting, so, that, like 30,000 and like every 80,000. And like there's other ones you can do on that. But usually I do 20,000 and then every 70 after that. See, factory default, three lives, extra 20, 70, and, and 70. That's what and I do. And <laughs> then there are, it says here that they have a rank A, rank B, C, and D depending upon switches two and three, which mm -hmm. uh, you could virtually do in MAME as well. So, yeah. um, you know, knowing what those switches are can change, like you said, the number of lives uh, as well as the extra ships, if you get them or not. So, so it's a, uh, that was experience for me. I'm, I'm someone who only knows RK one ups really. And so it was like, even messing with that, I was like, all right, like I want to really, I'm someone who likes to look at things like 10 different ways and then finally come to the decision like, all right, this is how I want to do this. So it always takes me a little bit longer. So. <laughs> <laughs> Your wife and her <laughs> senses. <laughs> oh, for me? For you. Oh, yeah. No, no. He, okay. he, wasn't, he, he wasn't being a dick and hitting on your wife. Okay. No, no. Um, well, you know, he, he's, he's got some couth. It's not aimed at me or you, but he does have some, some couth, a little bit of self-control hiding in there. So, uh, Appreciate let's see that. here. Appreciate that, MG. Pro choice. All right. And Dark Realm Gaming in the house. Uh, whoops. See, this is a reacting slow. Uh, what up, bud? Yep. Hola, hola, hola. Give the thumbs. Give the thumbs. All right. Uh, trying to school Galga guy on Galaga. Yeah. Hey, <laughs> I, I know things about MAME, okay? There's some things I do know. Uh, I spent enough time uh, consulting on coin ops uh, builds. That's the polite way to say it. And to know what the hell that's all about. Because we yeah. actually used to pre-do, excuse me, the dip switches inside the UCE files for uh, at games products. And so. hey, I don't, I don't know. I don't know a lot of things, you know, like I didn't think I could get this down here. And someone, someone informed me that I could. So I was like, great. Awesome. Like I can get this down here. Like, that's great. So I like was looking for one like the next day. Like, well, all right, if I can fit it down here, like I want to do it. So, yeah. Wow. He thought the '88 was because you were born in '88. Hmm. It actually is is because I was born in '88. That's why. Is it? Yes. So people think it's because I like Galaga '88. I like, know. Let's oh. see. That, that's what I thought. And now <laughs> me and you know MG look like idiots. I mean, which is not hard for MG to do, but damn it, now you drug me into this shit, MG. No, no, no. Thanks I like a lot. Galaga. But I was born in 88, so I was like, uh, well, I really, originally it was the, I had my name as the uh, Galaga Pilot, which is, um, it's hard to pronounce. It's like um, Gargaria. Gar <laughs> See, na na now he's thinking he's right, because he was 
right and then wrong, but now he's right because he was right once. Well, just because you're right doesn't mean you're not a Muppet. I know a, a <laughs> broken clock is right twice a day, but anyway. <laughs> so, um, yeah, so that's a... Uh... I recently have a name like that, but then people couldn't pronounce the name, so I was like, "Oh, she's the Galaga." So it's Galaga guy, eighty-eight, because I was born eighty-eight. But I I did play Galaga eighty-eight, and I did fairly well on it. But I still like Galaga better. Like I just like Galaga better. Like it's just more yeah, of a classic. Well, I mean, although you know, sometimes I just have to go ahead and go back to the roots and and whip out the Galaxian. <laughs> yep. 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 Choo. Now what what is the other one and and I, I do love the game but I'm drawing a blank right now the third in the series after Galaga GA plus um, yes that's it yeah. I I like the mechanics of that one where you can like build up this super ship on the bottom with the different modules yep. and things um you know I think that the max you can get to is like five bullets fired at the same damn time and that's really hot just going to say yes. that's really really hot uh, let's see here. What's going on? Never knew it was a drone all this time. What? Uh, the ship has a pilot. I I'm lost. What ship are we talking about? Um, yeah, the I'd ship to... that the ship in Galaga has a pilot, and the pilot has a name. Oh. Google this. Google it. It's a really hard name to pronounce. Like, I couldn't figure. I even tried to like Google like how do you pronounce this name? Galaga. Gar Gargaria or name. something. Like that. Yeah. Uh, Midway uh, must include pilot name. Nope. Video. Nope. Nope. I've lost it. I can't find it. Oh, but there's name. I think it's Gar Gargaria. Gar Gar Anyways, it's really hard to pronounce. It's almost like Galaga, but there's like an R in there that just throws you every time. Well, I'm calling it a pilot. Maybe they call it something else, but uh, let's call it Galaga fighter name. See yeah. if that uh, works. I'm glad that, that your show's turned into Galaga. <laughs> <laughs> you're just like i want to talk about stuff i'm just like galaga's cool though you just talk about that new arcade board nope that's not the name i'm looking for submarine nope tournaments uh, nope name is in the word tournament damn it yeah no i got nothing i can't find the pilot's name hmm. yeah. well that hurts all right because usually my Google foo is really good. But then again, I am on Bing, so that could be a thing. Google.com. There we go. Sorry, Microsoft. I can't use you all the time. Only enough to get free points and free uh, Game Pass, uh, you know, Ultimate. All right. Yes, okay. It's G-Y-A-R-A-G-A. -G -A -A. It's Oh, the the it says this. it's the ship's name, according to oh, Jason the here. Name. The ship Sorry. name is the... Sorry. Garaga. Yeah. Okay. Garag Garaga. What Garaga. is the name of the ship? See if I do this right yes. now. Um all right. Now what I need is how to pronounce that. So we're gonna go okay. to Google that and say how to pronounce because I guarantee you there's a YouTube video, because there's a YouTube video for everything, uh, how to pronounce that word. And paste. And if you can spell pronounce, you might be okay, Scott. And boom. Uh, how do you say Galaga? No, that's we know how to say Galaga. Yeah, I, I couldn't figure out how to say it. Like, and that's originally what my name was. It was that guy eighty eight. And whenever I would do a super chat or something, like even Michael B was like, I don't know how to pronounce this. And got Gar 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 and like I was like, oh, I'll just change the Galaga. Okay, People well here, here's the catch. Uh, it's actually the Japanese pronunciation of Galaga. That's well, there the, you go. I guess that works Gia, out. <laughs> Giaraga is, uh, is the pronunciation. There's the Japanese le uh, letters. Hepburn, it says Giaraga, pronunciation, blah, 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 blah. Giaraga. 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 Just like, what, what is the Japanese for uh, Godzilla? Gojira. I was going to say Godzilla. Go, go, Gojira. G-O-J-I-R-A or something very similar to that. I may have just been playing that table earlier today and saw that on the uh, on the uh, play field. Gojira. Did I spell it right? Of course you didn't. That's the name of a band. Um, let's see. There's got to be... God, I'll just type Gojira Godzilla and see what we come up with. 
And yeah, again, I'm on freaking Bing again. Shame on me for being on Bing. Yeah, I'm right. Gojira. G-O-J-I-R-A. Japanese for Godzilla. Uh, Can you pronounce yeah. it? Say it again. Godzilla. Gojira. G-O-J-I-R-A. If you if you watch the old black and whites, you'll literally hear them call them that by that name. I actually uh, was gonna uh, do that, but I only found the um, sub instead of the dub, and I was gonna watch it while I was working, and I was like, I can't read this and work. Like, so I never, never got around. To hold on, it. I'm being racist by trying to pronounce correctly. What? Oh, hey, saying spirits. Just because you were asking, um, I got a new guitar today. <laughs> I was telling Gal Gaga about it. I, I, uh, the wife gave me approval to order a, a guitar for travel, so I ordered a uh, Steinberger headless Dude, guitar. That's awesome. This bad boy is very light, you know, and uh, I mean, it's a full length guitar neck, but I can still take this in a gig bag and put it in an over uh, overhead bin on almost every U.S. Uh, airline. So, is there any way you could play something without being? Right now, I can't because I have not set yeah. that up. I literally unboxed okay. it. Uh, it came from uh, was it, where did it come from? Indiana, uh, you know, yesterday to today, and it's never been opened up. It, it was sealed straight from the Gibson factory. So um, it, I tried, it, and it is way out of tune. So I've got to go ahead and set the whole thing up. So, and Rich Wadello, uh, my uh, my good guitar buddy here, is. Probably gonna go look at one this weekend at Guitar Center. Yeah, what? Just yeah, yeah, yeah. We do that. Uh, we 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 go back and forth and tell each other uh, what we found that are deals or that are awesome. And I'm pretty sure within a couple of years our collections will be identical. He hasn't made the jump to the uh, Katana artist that I did, um, but I had some good deals and I actually flipped one of my amps in two months and made more money than I, than I you know paid for it. So, yeah, but uh, yeah, he's he's pretty interested in one of those. And uh, actually, I, that's not the color I want. I have uh, my engineer over at Sweetwater working on getting me uh, the most rare color. He's got a contact at Gibson that might get me one. So we'll see. They do a yin yang, which is like part white, part black, dead sexy. Uh, other than that, hot rod red is probably the, the color I'll be getting in a month, and then I'll flip that one for more than I paid for it. Nice. Oh, Rich Wadella says the reason he didn't jump on the artist like I did was because he's holding out for a Mark III. <clears throat> I hate to tell you, Rich Wadella, the fact that this came out right now has got the Mark III probably put off till at least the end of the year or next year. But I'm going to probably be starting a, uh, another show called That Guitar Show, which we'll talk about that stuff more in depth one of these days. And yes, <laughs> Debbie Gibson makes guitars. Now... The fact that you know who Debbie Gibson is, by the way, MG, says more about you than about me. What's a da, Debbie da, da, da. <laughs> <You're>, <laughs> Just look it up. Just look her up in Spotify, play one of her songs. It'll probably be catchy as hell. And you're like, oh, I could get into this. And then you'll be like, oh, shit, now I'm turning into MG. Ooh, scary. <laughs> I'll have Kiss. I'll be like, man, Kiss. So I should I struggle to do Kiss. <laughs> A nice cherry Les Paul. Actually, Ralph, uh, a Les Paul or an Epiphone Les Paul is going to be my last purchase. I've got a beautiful ESP LTD um, that uh, is my primary. I've got a nice uh, Ovation Celebrity Acoustic. I got this for traveling. And the last thing I want is a Les Paul, a nice fixed bridge that I'm going to keep in a um, tune down half a step for all the other songs, a.k.a. mostly Kiss songs. And the reason why this shirt is a Gibson and the reason why this shirt has a blue Gibson, like I said, is because my boy knows that that is the last guitar I want. It's either going to be this or a uh, Ebony uh, you know, Epiphone Les Paul custom with gold hardware. So that's the all the guitar talk saying, Spirits. Sorry if I uh, got you out there. Bobby ALU1 says, Debbie Gibson was before Gallagher. That, that is true. She was? Was she late 80s? Hmm. I was late 80s. <laughs> yeah. I, I think she's later 80s than you. 
uh, Debbie Gibson, American singer, songwriter, um, years active from 83 to present. Yes. So there, 83 is probably her first uh, hit. I'm All sure right. I heard her song. I just didn't. I didn't say a spirit saying she was a cutie. Yeah, she. I'm, I'm going to say she was back in the day. Oh wait, now now we're talking about uh, Tiffany. Oh, now he's got to look up who Tiffany is. Oh my gosh. I think we're alone now, Tiffany. Is that our Tiffany breakfast is Tiffany. Mm-hmm. I think he might be onto something. Wow, amazing. And MG is putting uh, names in a spank bank now. All right. <laughs> there we go. Hey, speaking of the spank bank, um, I don't know if uh, you don't know this. Uh, I know Sean knows this. I originally was drawing a blank as to what this show was going to be about, even before I knew Sean wasn't going to make it. And so uh, this was the first thumbnail for the show. Come on. You can do it, computer. You Do you see it? Because I don't see it. I do see it. Yes. Yes. How do you see it? And I don't. That's why. I, okay. So that no, was going to be I, the I thumbnail. The, uh, I'm watching the, the stream on my other. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I can see it there. Yeah. I don't see it here in StreamYard. Yeah. So, yes. So that was going to be the original, uh, you know, uh, thumbnail. Because I was like, you know, let's make this about that, that Dune yeah, bucket. And yeah, it just popped up in StreamYard. I told you my computer's being wonky or StreamYard's being wonky. So, but I was, I was looking for images of that Dune bucket. And then I literally found so many listings for over $150. Uh, matter of fact, uh, the one that was $150 had uh, this as uh, the main image. So, um, but I, I didn't want to use that on, on, on the thumbnail. That, that was... Why not? <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, if you go to eBay and start looking up Dune Buckets, uh, sure enough, you're going to find listings like that, and they're going to be 150 bucks uh, or more. Now, there are several that I saw that weren't, but I literally saw so many between 150 and 200 dollars. I was literally, what the hell? That was boggling my mind. I enjoyed the Capcom background of that picture you showed. That was very nice. <laughs> the Cat Marvel. Yeah, I, I, I don't understand why that was a thing. Um, I mean, here, here the guy is, you know, basically selling a spank bank, and uh, you know. But he's got, uh, you know, Capcom in the back. It was, but yeah, you go to eBay and uh, just eBay. Etsy is selling them too, by the way, of course, everywhere. But if I was to share that tab here and we said uh, Dune Popcorn Bucket. There we go. There's that one. one forty nine ninety five. You can get one without the uh, jerkins for sixty bucks plus thirty three shipping. Here's a buy it now for ninety five bucks from Thailand. Is that still wrapped in plastic though? See that's. See yeah, this one. I guess the, I guess they only wrapped the top in plastic because they, obviously the, the the bottom was supposed to be your popcorn bucket. Uh, that's a regular. That's an old Dune one. Sixty bucks. There's a deal. They must have had a lot of these in Thailand because I'm seeing all these listings are from Thailand. So um, let's see. I wonder where they make them at. I wonder if it was like. What does this guy mean here by it's brand new, comma never used? Okay. <laughs> he's never buttered his popcorn. That's all he's saying. You know? uh, that, I I guess. <laughs> um, now here's the 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 big word they're using for some of these: the dunacy. And uh, you can just gamble as to what the is a merger of two words. Uh, he's going for two sixty nine, if you know of what course, I mean. Of okay. course, of course, two sixty nine. Yeah, actually, a lot of them use that term. I saw uh, this one is a uh, you know tin gold bucket new mint in bag. Look at the prices for these things. Okay, I think the internet should all unite and make all of these sixty nine dollars, like every one of them. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it it just I was I I, I couldn't <laughs> believe how much these things were. Uh, what does this guy think? Well, well, he in his defense, it is eight hundred five dollars, but it's free shipping. So, well, you know, I mean, you, know, you can do you can get a lot for eight hundred five dollars. I mean, you do you can do a lot with eight hundred five dollars. This guy's giving me posters and pins for one hundred eighty nine. I mean, come on. Shh. 
is, is, is that crazy or what? That is that is nuts. And the Ghostbusters ones are only going for like you know, 65. And by the way, Sean actually just totally missed out on getting one of these. He was in line and they sold the last one. So uh, those um, actually look cool. It was the it's the the actual like uh, the thing that captures the trap. The, the, yeah, the trap. Yeah, yeah. That was actually looked really cool. Whenever I saw one, I it almost like, looks like a popcorn popper, doesn't it? Yeah, more than it looks like a popcorn uh, you know bucket. It doesn't look like it holds yeah. a lot either. Yeah, they probably charge you just as much too. Oh, the- guarantee you. But shit, this has got lights and everything else. I mean, damn. But literally. Somebody needed to have done this right and made that a popcorn popper. Yeah. You know, you know make it make it an air popper or, or whatever the hell, but a simple, small, single serve popper. Brilliant. But then again, it would have cost, you know, way too much money. All yeah. right. Let's see what the chat has been saying since I did this. Uh, Unless you would have had people, you know, in there trying to make popcorn in a the theater. And I don't think that that would be good. <laughs> Rich Wadello thinks he saw these some of these listings coming wrapped in a condom. Okay. And now we're talking about Taylor Dane. All right. Poofy hair. It was. It was. MG could not afford the Doom bucket. He had to go with the Kung Fu Panda and use a lot of imagination. Mm-hmm. Yep. Who sings that? Oh. Is, that a, is that a Dawkins song? Don't oh, just close your eyes and I'll be there. Wait, what? Okay. No. All right. Uh, his listing comes with Vaseline and it's half priced. All right. What a <laughs> deal. Our one of four completed Saiyan Spirits. No, no, no. I guarantee you we're not going to hit 90. We, we are just going to yeah. now. We haven't got into what you're playing and uh, watching and all that. Like we well, let's see. That. Okay. Let's talk about Scotty Boy. Scotty Boy has not caught a movie this week. Uh, this last week has been pretty busy. One, you see, I bought a new guitar. I've been working tons of overtime uh, during the week and the weekend and um, actually spent that time at that barcade, had a little baby date with the wife. And and then I had the granddaughter's second birthday party, um, you know, just happened on Saturday. So busy, busy, busy. But I still snuck in, even though we didn't catch any movies. I caught the season finale of Halo for season two. Nice. And I, I, I knew based on the title of that episode, I told my wife, yeah, this is the season finale. She says, how do you know? It's just, I know these things. Okay, I drink and I know things. Um, <laughs> sure enough, it was. <clears throat> and it was a good season finale. It ended at a very good point, uh, leaving itself open for a third season that I hope they get. Um, let's see. And so uh, watching, I watched the most recent version of Shogun, although one is dropping tonight, I believe, which I cannot watch because I have to wait for my wife, which means it'll be a day or two. And then we caught another episode of Constellation on Apple TV+. Plus. And it's finally to the point where, like I said last episode, it all is coming together and making sense now. So we just, we just got to see where they're going to go with the, the story and uh, looking forward to it. And I snuck in an episode of Ted last night. I, I try to finish the, the first season of Ted. Love the show. And now, you know, the wife and I, our schedules are so much worse than usual. She's like, just just watch it without me, and I'll catch up. I go, okay, cool, because I really want to watch that movie on Netflix. Uh, uh, what's that one with uh, Millie Bobby Brown on Netflix right now, where she's oh. a princess and she wants to be a warrior? Oh, what is that? Yes, yeah, I, I, we were talking about that at uh, my nephew's house the other day. I go, we got to watch that, honey. She goes, it was good. I go, fuck you. She watched it without me. Can you believe that? <laughs> Dude, I hate whenever it's like you wait for them and then it's like, I'm going to go ahead and watch it. Like, wait a minute. I waited for you. <laughs> exactly. That's why last night I was like, you know what? Screw this noise. I'm uh, going to go ahead and uh, start watching these other things without you. Be that way. Damsel. That's the name of the movie. Looks really good. If you haven't caught it, okay, I'm look it up. That. Netflix. Damsel. All right. And let's see. Going back through here. Uh, Jason had his first kiss at Debbie Gibson's birthday party, but it wasn't Debbie Gibson. Hmm. Mm. Do tell. All right. Uh, let's see here. Going back down the row. Um, did you, we're about to lose the female audience. No, we're not. Cause I've got this. All right. Uh, is it true? We only get 1.5 buckets total in our lives. Hmm. I'm going to say 
That might be a you thing. All right. <laughs> uh, let's see. BB uh, won't leave me. We need some classy uh, on here. Uh huh. Uh, da, 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 da. Monarch. Monarch was a great show. Loved it. Um, I think it's just a great kind of stay in the mood of the uh, you know monster universe to get ready for the movie coming out. This uh, was it's coming out in the next month, isn't it? The one with Godzilla and Kong. Oh yeah, yeah. Godzilla versus it's not versus Kong. It's, it's not versus Kong. It's like an X Kong kind of crossover yeah. or whatever it is. Uh, did you, you know. did you like Godzilla versus Kong? Did you watch that one? Yes. Yeah, I liked it. What's the other um, Godzilla one that just came out? The uh, oh, it it was in theaters. Godzilla minus one. Minus one. I knew it was something. With Missed it, and I had the opportunity to catch. Uh, Godzilla minus one minus color, which was a black and white uh, version of it. I missed that in the theater, so uh, just waiting for it to hit on streaming. And I know the wife is not into subtitles, but I don't think they made a dubbed version of that, so she's shit out of luck. We're gonna watch because right now I'm watching Shogun uh, dubbed, not subbed. I hate that, but you know it is what it is. At least some of the actors are. Uh, multilingual and are doing their own dubs so that's cool but the uh, the true um you know native folks who that's their only language where they got other people doing the the overdubs and uh eh, kind of i i kind of hate that kind of stuff i really do you know it's kind of like when you watch an anime before it gets dubbed and yeah you've been reading it but you hear the voices you know what that character is supposed to sound like and then now you've got it gets westernized and how did this guy with the high-pitched voice sound like john wayne now what the <laughs> fuck yep. happened there yep, um, yep, yep. It, it's, you know yeah it's you know it's kind of like well it's kind of weird like like pokemon how many people out there know that ash ketchum was played by a, a female voice actor yeah yeah it's um I know for whenever we watch animes, usually I like watch an episode in, in dub and then one episode in sub and then we kind of like debate on which one we like better and so it just depends on which anime that we're gonna watch, um, or what we end up doing. But um sometimes sometimes dubbed is better when it comes to anime, but a lot of times subbed is just they have better at like you know, just getting the point across and having the emotion behind it. So I'm not I'm not a snob either way, but yeah, I like I like them both. Ichabod Crane says, "Just watch the Gochi short." What, what, what is Gochi? Got ye? Got ye? Yeah, I'm missing okay. it. I don't know. The, is that my? So I don't know. So no one watching the gentleman. I want to watch the gentleman, and now Goofy Foot says it is bad. Oi! All right, Princess Warrior. Uh, familiar with that? Yep. And oh, she thought yeah, Monarch yeah, was slow. Now. Yeah. It's, I just did a, I literally did a short before, um, before I, uh, came on here. It was like 10 minutes before I came on. I finished up a short with me, my, me and the uh, burger time, babe. And so that's, that's probably what he's talking about. It's, it's pretty funny. So, yeah. All right. So I can't tell if MG is saying minus one is good or gentleman is good. We don't know. Rich Dello is giving the thumbs up here for X Men ninety seven. I'm gonna catch that. Uh, that's the next to watch without the wife. Uh, as soon as I finish up my last few episodes of Ted, uh, and I gotta say the the Christmas episode, episode five of uh, the first season of Ted, actually touching and funny. Um, not that kind of touching, MG. Sorry. Um, minus one audio version. Nice. Okay. Sand Spirits is, of course, subbed as always. And yes, um, the monster is dubbed in, uh, in, in, in the English version. It's very funny. Uh, he actually goes, I'm going to come step on you. Arr! You know, Japanese, it's Arr! And, and dubbed, it's I'm going to crush you now. Arr! Arr! It's, 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 it's almost Yiddish. It's weird. Um, okay. Do you ever da, da. Uh, those have those uh, subtitles up, though, where it, it does something that's obvious on the screen? It's not someone saying something, but it's like an emotion, and you're just like, why did they put that on there? They're yeah. like, visibly confused. And you're like, yes, I can see that. It's Eerie <laughs> music playing in the background. 
yeah. no shit. That's why I'm over here going, oh shit. No, but no, yeah. because that is for the yeah. folks who totally can't hear. Yeah. So to go ahead and, and set the, the, the mood and things like that, of course, that's why that's there. And uh, I do know in, in some movies you had a, a choice as to only getting pure text when you're back in like the DVD days. You could say you just wanted the actual uh, text or you could get it with the whatever they call that other stuff, uh, you know, environmental blah, 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 blah. Yeah. So uh, some people used to call that uh, the color is what they used to call that. I can't read and explain the plot to my wife at the same time. I know, right? Yeah, that's that's what's the problem we have on on, on subtitles. She's kind of like, uh huh, and yeah, it's just you you just totally lose it. Uh, speaking of anime, anybody seen uh, Death Note? I have not. I've heard oh great things. Goodness. It looks good. Oh, you have to. This is like one of my top like five. My daughter, my daughter said it was great. Oh man, it's it's only it's not very long. It's it's only like uh, what is it? It's only like what thirty episodes, somewhere around there. And man, I tell you, you're on the edge of your seat the entire time. Uh, the premise is you know not to give too much away, but a high school student who's very 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 smart gets this death note, which he if he writes anyone's name in it they die and they can describe how they die. And he takes that and uses it to his full advantage. And it is, Oh man, if you watch it, I tell okay, you, that, 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 you, you went, you went far enough. Oh, but it's 37 episodes. Just saying 37, okay. 37 episodes. looks like it's currently playing on Hulu. If I'm correct. Yes. It looks it like, is. Oh man. It, I, it, I, I told you he's not Mexican. He's Yiddish. Okay. <laughs> Godzilla is Yiddish. All right. Yes. Gosh. Oh man, it is. Oh, that that one I actually showed my wife too, and she was like, "Oh, you couldn't stop watching it because you just wanted to know what happened." Cause it's yeah, just... no, she she right here said she loved it. Oh yes. So there well, we go. I would and... definitely recommend you watch it. Ninja Kumi on, or um, I butchered that one. Ninja Kamui or Kam, yeah, we'll go that on on Max. Okay, I've not heard of that one. Ninja. Cam it sounds delicious. Uh, Ninja Kamui, uh, Japanese uh, anime, blah 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 blah. Oh, it was part of uh, it premiered in, on Adult Swim in February of this year. Okay, I've I've caught some great stuff on Adult Swim in the past. Uh, some of my favorite animes were on uh, their Inuyasha. Loved uh, that series. Uh, Big O, if anybody hasn't watched that one. No, MG, it's not what you think it is. Uh, but Big <laughs> O is a good one. Have you heard of Big O? No, I've Let's never Let's just say it, it, it involves a freaking mech, okay? Okay. There, there's, there's, there's mech battles that are, uh, you know, housed by, you know, uh, human pilots, let's say. And there's good ones and bad ones and stuff. And it's it, it, I think it's... Part of it is post-apocalyptic, I think, while part of it is neo-modern. Um, it, yeah, it, it basically takes a, a whole Batman feel because the the main character is a well-to-do person who has gotten his hands on one of these, um, you know, mechs. We'll call it for they have different term, and is using it for good. So it's oh. totally got a Batman theme going on there. But uh, Big O, great anime if you haven't watched that. Uh, what else did I, of have course... You, uh, have you ever seen, uh, since speaking of mech ones, you ever seen Ger Gern Logan? You ever seen that one before? Have not. And that one's a short one, too. It's only like 25, 30 episodes. But that one also is like a, like, that one, it's just really fun and, like, gets you pumped. You're just like, yeah! So now, this is what I <laughs> thought. Was there a movie version of Death Note also? Um... I think there's like a uh, a live, I don't know what they call it now. What they do with Avatar, where it's like there's like a live action version of it now that's also out. But um, says so there was a film in 2017, uh, an American supernatural crime thriller. What? It's on I Netflix. I don't know about. I only watched the actual anime, so. From a screenplay, but loosely based on the mag manga of the same name. Loosely, plot, 
Plot follows an American high school student named Light Turner who finds a mysterious supernatural notebook known as the Death Note, which can kill anyone whose name is written on its pages. And we're going to stop there. <laughs> I was supposed to say, the, I'm like, the, stop the, reading. <laughs> yeah, the, 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 re, the, re, the rest is uh, spoilerific. Yes. But uh, so it, it's set in the U.S. It's actually set in Seattle, Washington. It says. I mean, that's not. That's not how it is in the anime. So it's it's an Americanized. Mm, we'll call it retelling or adaptation yeah. of the manga. So um, um, it does have some good one. actors. It says in here though. Hmm. Well, another one that if since we're all gamers slash anime, we could cross um, over. It's fine. Yeah. <laughs> um. Uh. On Netflix, is there, there's a show. Oh, there's called... live action ones too, he said. Uh, Sane Spirit says. Yes. Okay. Um, uh, uh, high Score Girl is what it's called. High Score Girl. And it's all about this kid. Oh, who... you got MG interested right now. Mm -hmm. Oh, I do. Yeah. Guitar talk. <laughs> and then as soon as you're talking about uh, high score girls, mm, babe. Yeah. yeah. Let me get that popcorn yeah. bucket. Yeah. But that one was all about like they really reference hard like the eighties arcade. Um, no, she's not. Com she's not complaining. She's just telling him that it, we don't have Netflix. That's all. She's just, that's all. That's all. Yeah, that's all she's saying. That's all she's saying. We, we don't. We don't have it. That's okay. We, just, we got plenty of other stuff to watch. We don't have yeah. to watch Netflix. Game it, fridge. Although we're yeah. coming. To, although we're going to come to your house and watch it there. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Um, but there's one called High Score Girl, and that one is like they definitely like reference eighties arcades in Japan a lot. And it's actually pretty entertaining just to like see this kid try to he wants to be the best of the best, and then some girl walks into the arcade and she just stomps him. So he's trying to like learn about her and it's all this stuff gets intertwined with it, but that's basically it. So if you're into anime slash arcade games, it's like the perfect anime for you. So. Okay. So we cross over to anime for hour two. That's fine. That's fine. We yeah. Know. Yeah. We only got four more hours to go. Mm, <laughs> not, not, not. All right. So I'm getting, uh, definitely check out the anime first. Okay. And, mm -hmm. uh, Ralph Reed is saying that I lost shotgun Sean cause he hurt his eye using the dune bucket. Okay. The dune buckets. They can, they can come back at you. You know, you got to make sure. Gotta make sure you have him, you know, in the in the the right parameters. It, it, and, and it's not his pescatarian diet that hurt his eye. Okay, gosh. All right. And Saint Spirit says the Netflix version was very westernized. That's what it sounded like from my read through there. All right. And MG says uh, we can go back to guitar talk now. All right. Do you want to go ahead and talk about? Uh, some pentatonic scales or what, what should we do mg yeah do we, we, we want to go ahead and actually play the best of kiss is that what we want you don't want me to go here yeah and this girl gets shot down this, a, it's gonna be like bloop immediately <laughs> this shite is so out of tune <laughs> the other thing i love about this is you saw how easy it is to just lay it on the side here it's not as sturdy as the ones made in the 80s the ones in the 80s were actually made of carbon fiber they were heavy as fuck because they, even though carbon fiber is light, enough of it gets heavy uh, compared to, uh, you know, basswood on that one. But yeah, those you could, the, the inventor of it, uh, Ned Steinberger, he would actually take one of those uh, guitars and put it between two chairs and stand on it. He wasn't wow. the skinniest guy in the world, but he wasn't the heaviest guy, but still standing on it and uh, just showed how well it could take a beating. And so we are talking about who has seen the new Roadhouse and Rich Wodello is claiming he has no desire. <sighs> the thing about the new Roadhouse to me, and when I see the trailers, and I know for a fact that, uh, you know, Gyllenhaal um, is a producer of the movie, I'm thinking he just wanted to show his body off. And so he found a, a vehicle he could do it, and he got himself all well and buff and tone and... It looks pretty airbrushed to me. I'm not going to lie. Uh, and said, how can I go ahead and make myself look as hot on screen as possible? Fucking A, Roadhouse. Um, that's my th my take on it. It, it. it looks like a, just a vehicle for him to show himself off. I could be wrong because I've liked his acting in the past. But the the trailer to me is just screaming, look at my pecs. That's what that trailer is sc uh, scream, screaming at me. And my wife is probably saying, 
yes, I, I will look at your pecs. I'm not sure. But to me, I, I, I could probably live without that. Yeah, I didn't really have any... Uh, I didn't really want to see it either. I'm just like, yeah, speaking of airbrush, um, it looks like MG says, in all fairness, he looks airbrushed. So, you know, each to their own, you know? Whatever, whatever you like to be. And let's see here. MG says, is that a new rock band guitar? Nope, that's a real guitar. But, um, you know, I was actually looking at one of those new ones. Who was a PDP had the new guitars out last week um, that went on sale and sold out like in a heartbeat. Um, yeah, I, I, mean, I try to see where those are. Uh, PDP uh, guitar. Let's see. Da, 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 da. The Riff Master. That was the new guitar that came out uh, last week for Xbox and PlayStation and sold out like a son of a gun everywhere. Uh, still sold out. $129 uh, wireless guitar controller, Xbox X, One, Windows 11, or a version for uh, PlayStation as well. Can you get Damn. Guitar Hero or Rock Band on Xbox X, though? Like, Here's the catch. They are saying as soon as um, Fortnite has the Guitar Hero compatibility, then you can use this in the new Fortnite uh, guitar area. Oh. Yeah, that, that's where they're going. That, that's, that's what they're hoping for. Uh, it says here, um, let's see, Rock Band 4 uh, with anticipated compatibility on Fortnite Festival as soon as they support Rock Band 4 guitars. So that's that's where they were marketing this was to get in on the Fortnite festival stuff. Goofy Foot says there is no acting in the new Roadhouse. That's what it looks like, man. It totally just looks like you know eye candy for uh, young horny women or old horny women, any horny women. I don't know. Oh, and not to say anything about you know the horny men who like men. Good on you too. All right. All right, Patrick Swayze had point blank for that purpose. <laughs> yeah, point blank was totally a stare at my pecs movie. But it wasn't bad either. I kind of like point blank. Did you like point blank? Have you seen it? No, I don't think so. Uh, I don't think I've seen that one. No, yeah, that, that, I'm, like, I'm trying to think of it like Patrick Swayze. Like, yeah, I don't, I don't really remember that movie. That one, uh, let's see, point blank. Uh, blah, there's been a, a couple different versions. Let's see. It was at the twenty. I don't think Sean's much older than me. How old is Sean? He's got to be the same age. I do not recall. We we don't have that kind of relationship. Oh, okay. So, uh, you I was know. born in '88, so I guess it... <laughs> <laughs> mine's easy to see. I don't imagine Sean's any, any much older than me, but I don't know if he maybe he'd know. Now, of course, you've got Patrick Swayze and Keanu Reeves in the same movie for Point Bl Point Break. Well, so, you can't be that. That's a that's like a one two punch, man. You can't do nothing. So, um, little alien, it's, it's point break. In case you didn't correct yourself later, and somebody else didn't, it's not point blank. Point blank is a totally different movie. Uh, did anybody play Rocksmith, which has an actual guitar? Hey, Danny, yes. did you get? By the way, Danny, did you get my email? Because I haven't looked at my email since you know the show started. I kind of invited you on tonight, but uh, you know, cool. No, I have not played Rocksmith yet. I'm interested. Um, especially because I can take, you know, even this little bad boy or this bad boy and actually pipe it, you know, my uh, guitar signal straight into the, um, the PC and play the game. Um, for those who aren't familiar with it, basically, um, Rocksmith is a gamified way of learning guitar. So picture a guitar hero style game um, that you play with your own guitar and this software will go ahead and listen to your guitar uh, or use a direct connect cable to your PC to see how well you're doing. So yeah. uh, for those who are you know awesome on air guitar in, in uh, rock band and stuff like that, this takes it to the next level and takes the same kind of interface. And I have not played Rocksmith yet, Danny. I've been considering getting my hands on it uh, debating whether to get the old version, the enhanced version, which uh, you don't have a subscription for. You just pay 100 bucks up front and then get yourself some uh, some packs for songs if you want versus going the new version, which is subscription-based only. Um, right now, I'm totally just relearning guitar with the help of actually uh, Nita Strauss on her uh, website that has a you know 
nice, um, uh, I would call it not a mentoring thing, but just a whole learning course going through that as well as using, uh, who's the guy who's got the free uh, site uh, for guitar? Oh, God, what is his name? Justin Guitar. That's what he's called. Justin Guitar is his website, and he does uh, a whole series of free video lessons also I'm going through. So, oh, Danny, sorry that I didn't catch you in here. It says you got to run. Uh, so glad you uh, jumped, on, jump, jumped on here for a little bit with us. And, uh, you know, read that email I sent you. Maybe we can uh, do some work together. Um, I actually uh, did uh, own a Rocksmith. Um, I still have it, actually. And it, it is, if anyone who's wanting to learn guitar, um, they guarantee if you, they say an hour a day, I think for 60 days, and you'll know how to play guitar like really well. And I, I, I mean, if you really had an hour a day to play, I think that you'd be pretty, pretty good at it. But there's stuff like... Um, you know, you have almost something kind of like a tappers where it's like, hey, you got to play this note in order to get to this this person. You know, they're at a bar, they're walking towards it. You have to play the note to get to them to give them beer or whatever, or shoot them. And there's one where like you're in space and you have to shoot other ships. You have to play the right note on your guitar to uh, to um, to defeat other ships. Um, so it it really is. I mean, if you're trying to learn guitar, honestly, it's it's a great little thing to have. I mean, uh, it worked for me for a while, but then. You have kids and you stop. <laughs> I hear you. That's 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 why I took a twenty year break uh, yeah, or more yeah. because I had kids and uh, for a lot of their life, uh, depending upon my situation, uh, my wife wasn't in the same state as me. We had different properties. I was working out of state, and I would bring you know they were my kids by blood. Uh, you know, even though they consider her. They're their mom, and that's awesome. But they would stay with me uh, if we were in different states, and so I was single parenting to you know young girls. Yeah, the guitar collected dust. It really did. I mean, and Rocksmith looks cool, but you know, part of me, even though, like I said, this thing I'm doing with Nita Strauss's uh, you know course online, you watch it online. But then you go practice somewhere else. Yeah, you know, yeah. it's it's not recording me doing, uh, you know, um, a, a one two three four crawl. It's not recording me uh, just going down and doing scales. It's telling me what beat to do. I get a metronome. I go practice this, you know, that for twenty minutes, this for twenty minutes, and go from there. Um, versus, you know, Rocksmith. It's totally interactive. Uh, they have it on, on on phone and tablets as well. I don't. To me, that's you're getting too small then. Uh, yeah. To to you know, look at your phone. To you know, I mean, imagine playing what should be a full screen rock band experience on your phone or even your tablet, depending upon the size of your tablet. It's eh. So uh, Rich Modelo says it's total 100% beginner and coordination. Which hey, for me, restarting is not a, a bad thing. Yeah. Um, but what I've seen is videos of real guitarists who are self-taught and are shredding guitarists sit there and start playing Rocksmith. And it's like, they can't get it because, you know, <clears throat> they're not used to playing a gamified, you know, they're not they're used to, to playing gamified guitar. They're used to playing guitar. And, uh, but Rocksmith has those cool options where you can go ahead and say, nah, you know, just do the easy, you know, three spot chords. Don't, don't do this or don't do that. Or, uh, so it does have a lot of good options. Um, maybe I might get into it. I'm still giving, uh, this course that I paid $70 on sale for a chance. Maybe I might go Rocksmith later. We'll see. Uh, Ralph Reed says that Justin Guitars is a great site to learn. I've watched some of his videos and I tend to agree. Um, he also has a subscription service on on the piece, on uh, phones versus the free stuff he does online. But I like his style. And then I, I, I think I was supposed to be born in the UK anyway, not in the United States. And, you know, he's got an accent and it just does it for me. All right. And now we have a three-quarter life crisis is what MG is saying we're having here. <laughs> Uh, let's see the Al Bundy of rock guitar, da da da. And next, I'm gonna buy a Harley and a uh, leather jacket. Nope, my guitar day. Uh, sorry, my um, uh, bike days are over. I was more of a sport bike person, by the way. Saying spirits, uh, Ninja Six 
eight, 11, and 1200 uh, motorcycles. And I taught motorcycle safety in the state of Texas for 10 years. So I'm way past that. Um, I'm over my days of doing wheelies at 110 miles an hour down the highway. I'm, you know, I've realized now that I'm not Superman. So not going to happen. Da, 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 da. And what does he say? You want me to do drums? Let me go get the sticks, okay? All right, NG? We're going to do drums, ding, baby. Ding, ding, ding. And Saiyan Spirits was more of a Suzuki Hayabusa guy. I got to know, though, you say Hayabusa, and the first question I have to ask is, did you extend the, um, the wheel back? And, and go full drag racer, or did you at least keep the uh, you know the current wheelbase so you could at least corner half decently? Be honest. I want to know. And Papa Brad saying hi to us. Hello, bro. So I think we covered all of what we've been doing. We went round in circles on everything else. We brought anime into uh, the subject. Didn't we really say what else I was playing, which is Halo Combat Evolved, because, well... I've got the Master Chief Collection. I want to burn through it. DMC, still loving uh, playing that on the Xbox now. I sneak in Quake just for some quick gaming because I can. That's on Game Pass on the Xbox. And I love Quake. I used to compete uh, at Quake 2 nationally and also at the conventions. And then I actually did sneak in some arcade gaming. Uh, my ALU did some stuff on Arcade Net, played some squash, some other games. And then my iArcade Gold got some love with some Space Invaders. Uh, I played Squash on that as well. And uh, several other games on the iArcade Gold this week. So that was my gaming. What else we got going on here on the chat before we see if there's anything else to talk about? Ralph Reed is a Honda Cruiser here. Uh, was a Honda Cruiser. Don't ride anymore. But can't sell it, though. I, I get that. that that's, a, that's a thing. Yeah. All right. Saiyan Spirits is living the stereotype. Did, did Saiyan Spirits uh, <laughs> list what he's... Uh, let's see. He says, no, but dropped it. Oh, dropping is bad. But, you know, it depends if you just dropped the standing still and was anybody watching? That's because if you drop the motorcycle, nobody's watching, it's not that bad. If people actually see you drop the motorcycle, then it's bad. Um, or was it an accident? Um, cause one of the things I used to teach in my class was how to either avoid the accident or minimize the accident, uh, which was really awkward. Cause on my way to teach one night, I got hit in a four way intersection, still didn't put the bike down. Um, but, uh, did a lot of damage to their cars cause I had uh, very nice carbon fiber, um, on my, my bike. So yeah, I, I literally went to the intersection and got hit on the back tailpipe by someone coming at me 90 degrees and don't ask me how I pulled this off. I instinctively just locked up the, uh, the front brakes, which literally swung my bike more than 90 degrees uh, on pivoting on the front tire and then slammed down still sh almost straight up and down, but dislocated my uh, ankle since it took the brunt of the, uh, the hit. Uh, when I landed on the ground, but still was still upright and still rode the bike to class and had a great story to tell my students. Da 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 da. Papa Brad's been playing the, playing the Gottlieb tables. Brad, how you liking him, man? Uh, we worked hard on that. Uh, and I gotta say, did anybody notice yet? Because this was a pet peeve of mine, and I made sure I pushed hard for this in the last year. That pistol poker's animation on the back glass for, uh, you know, ready, aim, fire, actually goes out and points out the coins while it goes tick, 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 tick. That didn't used to happen, and we got that Ooh. working. So that is a huge win that I'm happy we accomplished, along with a lot of other things there on the Gottlieb tables. Uh, MG says, so MG had a Mitsubishi Eclipse, blah, blah, blah. Let's see what I got here. Make sure to check out the Discord, Gottlieb, Papa Brad's Gaming. Saying Spirits says he's lowered uh, lowered it. Okay, his Mitsubishi Eclipse. And what else have I missed? Do I put baseball cards in my spokes? I did back in the day. It actually, it was just playing cards because we had way too many regular playing cards. So I would put those in my spokes until I went ahead and got a bike that had um, a real motor, or sorry, a real you know BMX bike that had the giant 
you don't call them spoke wheels, but um, what do you call them when they're just like the di- the giant metal ones, the rims? Oh, I don't, I don't know what you call those. I only know the spokes. You know what I'm talking about, though. They're like it's yeah, like a yeah. star on the inside, not not the metal spokes and everything. Yeah. So uh, yeah, back then I'd got this nice bright yellow. Uh, MG's gonna like the name of this one. It was called the Super Stroker back in the uh, late 70s. No, no, this was a... Now, come on. Super uh, Stroker? Come on. Yes. Uh, Super Stroker, BMX. Uh, let, me, let me look it up here. And there it is. Yes. Oh, that was a beautiful bike. It really was. 1976, two-wheelers Super Stroker, currently at the BMX Museum. And, uh, oh, that was it. That was totally my bike. Let me uh, share this with everybody to live my childhood. I was uh, 10 years old, and I got that bike. This was a nice solid frame, nice kind of uh, square uh, off there. Everything was square. It wasn't tubular on this one. All squared and had the the giant spoked uh, wheels. There we go. And I loved those forks that... This is literally was my favorite BMX bike when I was a kid. And again, I got this when I was uh, 10 years old. So, yes, that is a super stroker from the 70s. How how fast did I find that? My my Google foo is awesome. How All did right. you Google super stroker and not come up with a bunch of other stuff? <laughs> That's because I put BMX in there, okay? I didn't oh, just okay. type super stroker. I said super stroker BMX. All okay. right. So yes, I totally, uh, I totally search. avoid all the stuff that MG was hoping I would find when I type that in the search box. Make sure if you search for it later on, everyone, you put it in the BMX. Don't, you do, and that's funny that. that that had the. I don't know if maybe they didn't make any other color other than yellow, because that was the color I had was that yellow. Um, tot- I'm actually looking at getting that guitar in that color too. Uh, da, 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 da. How many years will we have to wait for a Core Max 4K edition? Mike, I'm not sure if that is in the cards. If it was, you know I couldn't tell you. But um, I'm not sure. Uh, Zen would like to see their user base on the Atkins platform go from dozens to thousands. Um, I'm not sure if, how Zen would feel about that, honestly, because if you think about it, the Core Max is a TV-based um, platform. And they've already got the TV-based platform tied up with the Xbox, PlayStation, and Switch. I'm not sure Zen would really care if we were to, uh, you know, have that games come out with a 4K puck. But never say die, never say never. I would love to see, uh, you know, something like that as well. I do know there's other uh, people in the market that are putting out 4K uh, TV-based machines. So... Uh, let's see. What else am I missing here? We were were those upsized images are pulled from higher quality source images. Uh, if we're talking about the bike, see ten thirty eight. We were talking about the bike. No, those were the images I pulled up. Mag wheels. There you go. That's what we're talking about. Whoa, MG. You had a mongoose. No shit. Mongoose was a great BMX bike, and now I lost my boy Galaga guy. He's playing with his camera, and now I've lost him. That's not cool. Did I lose everybody else? Let's see here. According to this, I'm still streaming. So, hey, buddy. Oh, private chat says, I'm going to grab some ice real quick. You son of a biscuit eater. My my drink's been empty forever. And you're going out and grabbing ice. Oh, my gosh. All right. Uh, let's go back here. Uh, Rich Odella rocked a mongoose and a GT Pro. Yep, gotcha. Um, let's see. Da, 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 da. Super Stroker was Little Alien's name in the adult porn industry. There you go. Uh, adult industry. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to say porn. That's, yeah, uh huh. Sure. And let's see. Parents did not. Parents didn't know what a mongoose was, nor did I, but I got one for Christmas in a full outfit with helmet that I ruined, sticking a visionary sticker on and can never get the glue off. Man, you know, stickers are those things, MG, that when you're, you know, a little younger and you think it's going to look cool, you do it, and then you come to your senses and regret things. Um, I, I, I remember... 
and just gonna go down, you know, down to the the Kiss Avenue here. I had gotten the album Kiss Rock and Roll Over, and it had a sticker that you could put on the top of your uh, you know record player that was m- most of, if not all, of the cover art for the uh, the LP. And I gladly put that on top of my you know nice Akai uh, you know LP player. Um, you know, back in the shit, back in the early '80s, I paid two hundred dollars just for a phonograph itself as part of my stereo system, and I totally ruined my nice clear cover. That once I got older, said shit, I wish I wouldn't have done that. But you know, that's a thing. Da da da. I got ice. Little alien <laughs> says I need to read a message from him. Yeah, you son of a bitch. I'm dying for a drink here, and you're like, I got ice. All right. Oh, by the way, the, um, the freezer over here, so it's like, oh, my ice is like five feet away. And dude, I'm like, oh, mine's oh. just past the door over here. I could point the camera there. You'll still see the door that leads to the garage where my ice is. Okay, I'll take uh, over. You get some ice. Go get some ice. I'll, I'll, I'll take over. It's fine. I, no, my liquor's over there. It would take too long. We're gonna end the show here before eleven anyway. Um, by the way, what time zone are you in? You're you're Eastern, right? Being up there in Ohio, or yeah, are you yeah. on the other side? Um, it's, okay, it's almost it's uh, ten forty five here. So yeah. All right, and Ralph Reed, uh, the boys at Ettensoft are so embarrassed uh, that, you know, we both are embarrassed that we thought you didn't give us information. You did. You are one of the first, and I gave it to him that night, but they were drunk, I was buzzed, and we forgot since then. So, rascal, little alien says, read my message carefully. I was referring to the Gottlieb playfield images on the 4K. And now i got to scroll up. Uh-huh. On the Gottlieb playfield. Okay, sorry. Where those upsized images are pulled from higher quality source images. Um, this is secret sauce that I cannot say, um, mm. but I will go ahead and say that this wasn't just parsed through an AI kind of thing. Um, these images, I do believe. Mm, here's the thing: there, there were some images that had glitches in the play field. Uh, I'll call one out on. Um, which was it? Um, let's see. Black hole. If you look to the right of the opening for the uh, lower play field, there was a thing that says opens gate on the HD version that actually had a physical glitch where it looked like the, the image got folded onto itself and the words were not complete. That ended up being fixed in this version of the play field. So I'd have to assume that some of this came from other source, you know, from a different source. Um, so, but I, other than that, I don't know the full deets. So, so that, I did want to ask you as someone who's obviously been more involved with it as far as the 4K, because I haven't pre-ordered mine yet or anything, because I that Attack from Mars, I was really tempted to get, but I was like, I'll hold off. What is your favorite maybe feature or table that has a certain feature? And what is your least favorite? If you can say, you're allowed. I'll say, I'll say that, that I'm allowed to say because, yeah. um, I mean, while I'm cross, I'm, I don't know if I can. Cro- if this is a line I, I'm crossing or not. I mean, there are tables that are on pre-order right now, so you'd have to assume that if you could pre-order the table, I may or may not have played it by now. Um, so, I've got to say, Attack from Mars overall is one of my favorite tables in real life um i love um they had one at the shop at the place i was at this weekend where um you know the the actual aliens shake and stuff on on, on the play field when you yeah. you do things and um even the, the, all the toys they have in that table as well as the folks that make the uh accessory toppers that have more aliens that are shaking at you and crap and and you know uh lights and stuff going off that's one of my favorite tables hands down in the wild so and um i've loved it on pinball fx so you know playing that um i i would say to be able to to be able to play that Look at me dancing around this one. Um, <laughs> on a 4K P machine would probably be one of my faves. Because um, mm-hmm. you know, to me, I like bringing a real arcade table in, into the digital world. 
And that is one that I think that Zen did very well in Pinball FX. Um, now, now, granted, they do some more cut scene kind of things that you really, really wouldn't pull off in the real world. Um, and I don't know if you guys noticed on uh, any footage you've seen or played of the Adams Family. It is a, it, it tries to stay close to the real table with some animated toys, but not over the top. And um, so, you know, tables like that are the ones I like to see the best. And those also have, are great for like the SSF feature because with all those toys that are on, on the play field, um, they have a, a, a nice place to have the sound come out of. Uh, I was testing some other tables where I, you know, someone said, do you hear it making that noise out of, out of that side of the machine? And I'm like, that's because of that thing down there that's going click, click, click. Oh, wow. So, um, you know, that, that's the kind of experience I really like with this, you know, machine and, and, and these tables. And, uh, but I've had some great fun with the Gottliebs and the Magic Pixels. Uh, and like I said, don't skimp on the SSF. Um, it is well worth it. Sean knows for a fact I twisted his arm. He wasn't going to do it. Um, he, he was butthurt that uh, they offered to install it um, after he said no, and then he lost out like on $50 of pre-order stuff from day one. I said, just ignore that. Stop being butthurt. You will thank me. And sure enough, he's like, dude, that rocks. <laughs> you know, because, you know, especially on quieter tables, if you play some of the older tables that don't have all the toys and all you have is a couple of drop targets and, you know, and lights and stuff and bumpers, but they're not everywhere, you hear the ball rolling around. I mean, you could almost pull a, you know, Tommy from Pinball Wizard and close your eyes and know if the if the ball on those quiet tables is going to be near the flippers. Now, of course, Tommy was also deaf, so that doesn't really apply. But if you, you know, <laughs> <laughs> like, but as I was saying, though, that's the kind of thing I really like about this. And um, while it'll never 100%, and I, you know, I could be honest with you, replace a full 10 grand pinball machine, yeah. that's a 10 grand single you know, table pinball machine. So there's gives and takes. I can have 150 on this device right here and go back and forth between attack from Mars to, and I'm talking future here, of course, uh, attack from Mars to, you know, the Adams family to, um, you know, the, the, the peanuts table, which is actually more fun than it deserves to be. The peanuts Snoopy table, many people said the same thing. I don't want to admit it, that's fun, okay? <laughs> and it, it's it's not like the riding a moped is fun because you definitely don't want your friends to know you you rode a moped. No, it's the kind of thing that I hate to say it, but it's fun. Um, so that's that's the thing I like about the whole experience. And uh -huh. you know, like I said, if, if you are an Attack from Mars kind of guy, or what else has been pre-announced um, or is already ready? Oh, we turn off this katana go. Um, you know, the Star Trek table looks great. And, um, you know, those pinball tables play great on Pinball FX on the PC. I like them. I definitely like Star Trek The Next Generation, which ended up being something that uh, for the uh, certain set of pre-orders on the Star Trek uh, new trilogy uh, table, we'll call it, that they're going to get uh, The Next Generation as a, as a bonus. Great tables. So but what would it, you say to someone who's a little... Especially after you know some of the issues we've had with Adam's family, as far as like the flipper lag and things like that, that may be a little gun shy about you know going and getting an attack from Mars. Is there any like reassurance you can give, or anything that you would say like, hey, you know, it's a different situation? Or the only thing can I can say is okay. that we've seen this before, not just on at games. Uh, At Games did have some flipper lag uh, on the early releases of OTG for the uh, ALPHD, and that resolved itself. Uh, you know, Papa Brad here is giving a shout out that uh, 
OTG does show off the true power of, uh, of this machine, and it is great. We'll, we'll touch on OTG in a second here. But, uh, yeah, and Sacro does say that uh, Peanuts is a great table. It is. But we saw, and this is before I even worked for At Games, uh, with At Games, sorry. Um, we saw that the ALPHD had a flipper lag, uh, an, an input delay problem on OTG, and that got solved. We have seen, and this is known public stuff, that there's been a flipper lag in the Zen tables. When Zen first released on Epic, uh, the FX platform, even though the FX3 was a very successful platform that was rocking, Pinball FX had issues, and they got solved. Now, granted, that was kind of a whole... We were public beta testers, and we knew it back then for, for that, because Epic was like, yeah, we got a one-year lock, and FX is like, yeah, well, we're going to use this time to go ahead and you know make it great before we go on other platforms. Yet still, you know, we've had issues on the Switch version of uh, Pinball FX. Gets resolved. So it's just, it's just a matter of getting through it. And, you know, I, I'm not going to say anything bad or, 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 or blow smoke up anybody's butt about the whole thing. Mm-hmm. Um, but it is what it is. And you know, what I would say is you, you have two options. You can go ahead and be playing the games now. And even if you were going to say, if you flat out said, you know what, I know that the Zen games right now are going to have flipper lag. I know it's not gonna be the best experience. However, Nobody has told me there's flipper lag in the 22 Gottlieb games. No one has told me about any flipper lag in the, God, is it 100, almost 140 magic pixel tables that range everywhere from Zachariah to Taito to um, um, Natural History to Dr. Seuss. All of these do not have that flipper lag. So you can make the argument either way of wait or, or not wait. Um, yeah. you, you could say, all right, you know, I understand that. And, and here's the other thing too, is that if you were to turn on the machine and not play it for a couple of days and go straight into the Adams family, your brain adapts and this, that becomes the norm. If you haven't played a Magic Pixel game in days, I'm, I'm being upfront and honest, everybody here. Um, it, that's just the way your brain works. Um, you know, it's kind of like, and this is going to be a weird uh, analogy. My doctor had me wearing contacts several years ago, but because I could physically see without glasses up close, we did this weird thing where I had one contact for distance and one contact for near field, aka computers. And, but believe it or not, your brain adjusts. And so I could drive just fine with both eyes open because just like your your eyes do this 3D building thing in your brain, your brain did this does the same thing that way. And your brain does the same thing when you're playing something first, that becomes the norm to your brain. Now you go back and you play a Magic Pixel game, which is twice as snappy, I've done the measurements, uh, on flippers, then you come back to playing Adam's family. Yes, you're gonna you're gonna whine, you're gonna complain, and it is twice twice the um, the milliseconds for the flippers to react. But that's the status, and if that's gonna bother you to the point where the other 140 plus tables are not gonna give you fun and enjoyment, then wait. Yeah. Um, but you know, if you're willing to go ahead and, and, and say, you know what, I'm going to pick the design I want. That's the design. I, I, you know, you're an attack from Mars guy. I want that design. I'm going to get that design. And, um, you know, I'm going to come into this knowing right now, the attack from Mars is not a perfect experience, but between the fact that we've seen at games make their corrections and Zed make their corrections on their own individual platforms together should be able to you know to get this soon it, it trust me it is a high priority i i will say that well, flat out it is a very high priority and to kind of go back to what you said earlier a little bit you know compared to an actual table mm-hmm. i went to the Cle- cleveland gaming classic and that's whenever venom had first come out and you know venom was what ten thousand dollars somewhere around there ten twelve i'm going to say the average was ten yeah, yeah ten thousand 
And the night before Clean Game Classic, if you had these certain type of tickets, you can come in beforehand and just kind of see the venue. And I think it was either three or four of those Venom brand new tables that were all shut down because there was something wrong with them and they were trying to get them worked on. Not saying, you know, not, not, you know, saying like, oh, all real ones are terrible or anything like that, but they're a lot of work to keep up. And even if new ones... They're delicate is is the word I'll give them. Yes, that's it. They're very delicate. And so it's a lot of things you have to work on and to get right. So if you have an option, even though it's not the same and it's, you know, maybe a downgrade, but way less work (laughs) than an actual pinball table. Um, And it works well. uh, Besides, you know, some of the issues we've seen now, which again, you said they're going to be resolved, hopefully um, Mm -hmm. soon. But, uh, you know, to me, I think it's worth it. Um, I'm, I've been debating on getting, getting, uh, or pre-ordering the, uh, attack from Mars. Haven't, haven't, you know, pulled the trigger yet, but, uh, that's definitely something I'll keep in mind though, especially with that input on it. So just something that's to keep in mind for everybody, I guess. Great questions. And again, I, I answer to the best of my abilities, everybody, um, as you know, having a business relationship and a non-disclosure agreement, uh, you know, I'm limited to what I can divulge, um, so, but let's see, your Twilight Zone, Godzilla vs. Kong pre-order announcements are due by end of month. I'm not sure the time frame on that, but, uh, um, you know, obviously, announcement of an announcement and details are supposed to come this month. We should have uh, some announcements coming out here in, in sometime in April, April saying what's going on. So I, I don't know the exact time frame on, on uh, those IPs um, or if they are. Pinball FX FX3 with every table off of both from Steam and can OTG. Yep. I literally showed back in the day how you could use a Steam Deck to OTG to a uh, HD pinball machine. I literally used it as the third screen sitting on top of a pinball micro and ran Pinball FX playing you know, Kong right there on a uh, an ALP micro. Yeah, I'm, more like, I'm more like Sean um, when it comes to my... ALP that I have currently is like, I don't want to put, you know, a PC in it and do all this stuff. So if 4k can give me all the tables I want, that's what I'm going to go with. <laughs> so I have to do all that. <laughs> and saying so. spirits ask, can they release another star Trek skin? Hypothetically speaking, um, that is up to the combination of Zen, a combination of the intellectual property owners and, also uh, at games as to if it's a good business decision or not. But hypothetically, I don't think there's, you know, there's a lot of IPs that could be chosen from, whether they be in the same area uh, or the same IP owners as tables you've already seen, um, or if they're, they're other ones. So, uh, you know, Zen helps bring some um, some of that to the table just from pre-existing relationships. So anything can happen, my friend. Uh, let's see. At Games was very forward thinking of this pinball machine. Uh, we tried our best, Papa Brad. Uh, there's, you know, trust me, uh, I'm, there's ideas that all of us have had that all come down to a business decision. You know? So do you Do you think that I mean, I guess for me personally, do you think all the tables on like Pinball FX may, like, is that what they're trying to do? Like pull all those onto, or do you think it's just something like, Hey, we're going to pick a few that we're able to afford and maybe get the licensings for and things like that. And just slap those on there. Do you think eventually they want to get the whole library transported? I'm I'm not sure about that. Um, There's been a lot of talks about, um, you know, what could or could not happen. Uh, and in my line of work, I see things that never make the they never see the light of day. Uh, anybody who's been in software development and QA, you know, knows you 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 may play a game or a part of a game or a, a game in a series that never ever sees the light of day. I mean, we we've heard about this in the movie industry. Wasn't there a um, a Batgirl movie that got totally canned by Warner Brothers last year? Yeah. Freaking thing was fully produced. It wasn't. Ju- it wasn't just shot. It was edited and fully produced and got thrown. It got just you know business decision. That's nah, not gonna work. And and just it's in the vault. And I don't think you could buy your way into that vault. 
So, you know, that's the same thing that happens in the gaming industry. So there are, there are things I see that may never get spoken of uh, or may never be hypothesized. Wow, big word there, MG. So um, Too late at night yeah. for those big words. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see here. Uh, Brad says the purchase library is really great. Ton of great tables. There are. I mean, you know, those 10 um, deluxe tables that came with it, plus the four natural histories, and then, uh, you know, the bonus you get with you get the TAF, or later when you buy the Attack from Mars, you'll get Attack from Mars. So... Um, and by the way, that's why the uh, the Adams family is out there in the App Store, in case you guys are curious, because an Attack from Mars machine or a Star Trek machine will not come with um, Adams family. So that gives those people the chance to purchase that table to play on their other collector's edition. Uh, Ritual Delos says, start putting in some gold leaf buttons that will help some lag. Um, it depends on how hard you hit a flipper. I'm going to tell you right now, I love gold leaf buttons, but guess what? It is also a mental thing. It literally is. Because the way that, uh, like I told you, if you flat out start playing Adam's Family by itself this morning, and you haven't played in two days on any other table, you're going to think it's faster today. I don't know what happened, but oh my God, this thing got zippy. It's it's your brain. And uh, the same thing with gold leaf buttons. You're, the response from a full press of the button to the flipper moving based on hardware and software is not going to be any different based on a gold leaf button. Now the gold leaf button, depending upon the manufacturer may have less travel in the physical button itself. As you're pressing it, uh, many people who mod their arcade machines for fighting games, go ahead and change out to different kinds of buttons because of travel time or some like to hear the clicks. Some don't want to hear the clicks. Uh, the gold leafs are not clicky. They're quite silent. Uh, so, the, that right there is another trick in your mind because you're not hearing a click that happens in the button travel before the actual switch is is uh, triggered. You hear a click and now you start your brain starts counting. Oh well, between the time the click and the move, the click wasn't the actual press of the trigger. The trigger itself happened after that. The fact that gold leaves are silent, you avoid hearing that initial uh, sound. And so to your brain, the reaction time was a little bit faster. So it feels good. Uh, they respond really good. But in all honesty, it's not going to help flipper lag. Just wanted to go ahead and debunk that myth because um, I've seen it many times. Let's see. OTG, very easy to hook up. Yes, that was a wonderful change to have all three connectors for your HDMIs in the back, not partially on the front, not having to install a add-on board, everything right there, ready to rock. Yes. And it was not me, Brad. Trust me, I only had uh, part of a say in part of these things. Uh, Rich Odell says he worked back in Acclaim back uh, in the days of QA Tester and played s several fantastic games that were never released. So... You even uh, see that with, uh, you know, popular in the communities, RK1 Up. It's like there's tons of stuff they put out, and it's like it just doesn't happen. <laughs> yep. And like you were saying, there are other advantages to the digital besides just mm -hmm. having, you know, 100 plus, uh, you know, pinball tables in in one physical machine versus the one physical machine. And now I've got one of my things going totally nuts on my iPad, and I don't want to hear that noise. Go away. Well, I can tell you after seeing that, you know, with Venom being brand new and three of them, at least three of them were down, if not four. And I was like, man. And it wasn't even, this was us starting up, like, people just walked in the door. No one really played them much. And I'm just like, I know things happened, but three of them out of, like, maybe, I think it was maybe 15 or 20 there had issues. And I'm like, I don't want to pay $10,000. And, and, and that was the medium, that was the medium range. The high end was thirteen grand. The low yeah. end was seven grand on that machine. Yeah. And the the thing about a physical pinball machine, and I love them to death. Don't get me wrong. I'm not, I am yeah. not knocking a physical pin, pinball machine in the least. Exactly. Is that they're physical. Yeah. So when you go ahead, I mean, th go back and think of the game Mousetrap that you may have played as a kid or or seen. You know, that was a very physical game, and if something wasn't in the right place then the whole trap failed. 
Um, even the very final part with this darn little, what do you want to call it, uh, cone-looking net that yeah. would fall down this, you know, solid pole that just had literally, you know, bars coming out of uh, all the time that it was supposed to rock its way down. It could get stuck. It, if yeah. the momentum wasn't right or whatever it was, it could get stuck. Same thing could happen on a physical pinball machine. Um, and this could, you know, be a combination of when you move it, those things can jostle on the play field. You know, those, those wire rails are, you know, they're sensitive to being moved around. Um, you know, and of course, if you don't level the table out, they, they have little, you know, glass, uh, bubble, you know, levels in them for you know left, right, front, back to be where it's intended to be. If you don't match that straight up, you may not be able to hit a, a ramp and things like that. Uh, and then you've got these physical toys on the actual tables themselves. Like I said, the attack from Mars with the shaking aliens. Uh, there's also ones, I think, uh, Star Trek Next Generation has moving toys uh, on it. Star Wars definitely has moving toys on it. Those can <clears throat> fall out of place and and really just mess the whole thing up. Don't you have to, like, wax the field, too? Like, after a certain amount, there has to be, like, like I don't know, maybe up there. M- M- MG, he's talking to you. All right. No, you said wax the field. I, I thought you were just talking to <laughs> MG. I, I'm sorry. I was like, huh? Yeah. Yeah, but isn't there something with, like, you have to make sure there's a certain amount of wax on the field, and if you use it for so long, then, like, you have to make sure to redo that, because if not, then it'll create certain pathways and mess up your ball. And it's just a lot. Yes. I mean... They're cool if you can afford them and you're a tinker and you don't mind working on them. They're awesome. Like it's, I mean, and the resale, you know, on them is a lot higher than a virtual pinball table, but there's a lot of advantages to having a virtual one too. Yeah. And you know, that game's 4k, you know, if you compare it to other virtual tables, it's, it's, it's got a beat. <laughs> this is what it is right now. <laughs> Yeah, no, it, it, it's definitely a, a great product. And again, I'm not saying that because I work for the company. Uh, I <clears throat> I would gladly have bought one uh, had I not had to work on them. Um, so, I mean, I, I have to say, I've got one right here. Okay, I've got two uh, in here that um, are owned by Ad Games for me to work on. So I at least have the, you know, the device to play on when I want to. But I'm going to let you guys know a little something, okay? Um I don't play as much pleasure pinball as I used to because sometimes you can play 10 hours a day of uh, all the tables and you're kind of like, you know what? I'm thinking I want to just play solitaire with a real deck of cards right now. I don't, I, I, I don't even want to go ahead and play it on the computer. I want to go ahead and just, just do something like just There you go. Just solitaire with cards. What are you doing? I'm playing solitaire. Why? Just leave me alone. Okay. You know, it's just, it's those kind of, you know things. But uh, if I didn't work for the company and and work on this device eight hours a day, I would gladly have bought one, and uh, I'd have been the first wave, just like I was on the ALP HD. So, uh, love that. Had some great times with that, and this is damn good fun if you're into into pinball. So, let's see. Yeah. And blah, I get blah, that blah, too. Blah. I I like I like to read real you know physical books. You know, because it's like I can get tons of books on my phone or on my tablet. And it's like after you stare at screens all day and you go and you play video games with a screen in front of it, it's like you want something physical that's not just not digital in front of your face <laughs> for a little bit. <laughs> so Exactly. I'm, yeah. All right. Well, people have put up with us for over two hours. I need to at least reward those 20 folks who hung with us and let me give something away. Um. I got several codes that I bought this week, and let's see here. Uh, Rebel also hooked me up with some. Let's see, what did Rebel get for me here? Um, let, you know, let me do this. I'm going to go ahead and do, we'll give away Postal Redux on Steam today. Let me look that up. Before I look that up, though, I'm going to share something on Steam that my screen is at, because we got a lot of folks here who are into shoot 'em ups and things like that in the house and this game is on sale for 25 percent off right now it's called a blast from the past this is on sale for 4.49 that's 25 percent off and let me show you guys this trailer really darn quick before i move over to the next game ba 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 hello full screenish there you go and play 
Yeah, my screen, my computer is not a happy camper today. Come on, you could do it. Play something. I think it is like the stars are moving, whatever. They it were, is. and then I tried to jump and. Bro, it's my Galaga. <laughs> now this uh, is supposed to be 4K compatible. Sounds. I don't know they're coming across to you right now, but the sounds on this are dope. It's really loud. It's oh, it is coming through loud. Yeah, really loud. Okay, there you go. Is that a little better? Yeah. Okay. So yet yeah, that that looks a little galgish, doesn't it? Yeah. So. Let's see. Let's see if I jump forward and see the next. Yep, there's another wave. It's really, it's really fun. So yeah, this looks really cool. So if you guys are interested in this, it's on sale right now. Uh, what's this next video? It says it's a stunning classic arcade shooter. Includes gameplay modes for the casual gamer through the tournament mode for high score hunters. 4K, 360 hertz. I don't know what you would uh, use to put that on a TV at uh, 4K, 360, but oh wow, obviously it's so good that it's going down my computer. Just watching the video. That, that's a bit on my wish list. I think I'm picking that up uh, during its, its sale for 449. But yeah, let's, go, let's go to the game that I'm going to give away a code for, and that is Postal. Redux. Let's see here. Postal. Postal Redux. There we go. And let's play that up here. But first, before we start playing it, we need to actually get people to start typing in hashtags. So let me go ahead and pull up, uh, let's see, streaming stuff and giveaway tool. Bada bing, bada boom. And dear God, this computer needs a freaking... Enema. Just totally needs a reboot. Don't we all? An enema uh, and a dune bucket. We all need one. It's just, it's just All right, guys. So as you would guess, if I'm giving away a postal game, the hashtag postal <laughs> is how you will win this. Enter hashtag postal while we are going through this run through of the trailer. It says it's co-op, whatever. Yep. This is. So you and a friend can play. Oh, this is hurting right now. Damn it. My poor computer. I don't know what I did. But it's just extreme performance right now. Okay. It's a little loud. Again? Yeah, it's a little loud. Damn. Only Ralph Reed has entered so far, so Ralph is probably going to be the winner of this if nobody else is into Postal Redux. No, wow. I don't think I can minimize much more than that. Uh, let me go to the mixer. Can I mess with the mixer? I'll drop it at percent. How's that coming? Yeah, I do. My top part. Huh? Got two people on there. Oh, yeah. They got a 50 50 chance of winning this game, don't they? Come on, guys. Pop Fred, Richard Dello. Come on, Big I think Richard Dello owns this. So, this game, let's see here. It says it's playable on the Steam Deck. Yes. And we saw yeah. earlier that it's co op. And let's see here. Do I actually have a, any DLC on this one? No, this is just Postal Redux that I have right now, this code for. So I'm going to go ahead. Yep, Richard Dulles, I was right. He owns it. Let me do 30 more seconds on the timer. We'll get this away, and then we'll uh, kind of wrap this up since we've already passed the two-hour mark, and I swore I was going to be done by now. How did that happen? Five entries. Blue just entered. Good to see you, Blue. Da, 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 da. MG entered, but we can just go ahead and just take him off. That's fine. We don't have to worry it, about it. It, it, it won't let me. <laughs> I got 10 more <laughs> seconds left, guys, for anybody interested in Postal Redux for Steam. Got Goofyfoot in. Come on, y'all. Got seven entries so far. It's almost half y'all. 
that ding ding noise is the end of my timer. So I'm going to go ahead and I uh, no saying spirits. I got to quit us. I actually wanted to make another video tonight on um, that headphone amp. So I got to see if I can get my voice back, get my energy back and finish that video up tonight. So hashtag postal. The entries are in. Good luck, everybody. Except MG. <laughs> <laughs> If he wins. And the big wiener tonight is oh, Biggie, Biggie D. D. All right, Biggie D. I think I've got you somewhere in the discords, probably even in mine. Let me go ahead and jump over there and see. If not, you, why aren't you in mine? I see Biggie Fries, I but I don't. I don't see Biggie D in my Discord. Oh my, Biggie D. Uh, look me up. And uh, our dis by Discord um, invite is sitting inside the um, show description. And if not, you can reach me at rascal at me dot com. Just shoot me an uh, email to rascal at me dot com. He needs a win. I mean, I know he's had that he had that leak in his apartment, and he had to really move around all his arcades, and it's kind of put a, a little bit of a. Uh, damper on his uh, live streams here lately, so hopefully this will give him a little, a little thumbs up. To keep going. And let me just put in my show notes that this was won by Biggie D, so I know who to hunt down to give this away to, and stop sharing things. There we go. Awesome. Well, I think we covered our usuals. We talked about shit and stuff and uh <laughs> anime and pinball and i don't know where else we went uh we, we had some pop music in there with debbie gibson and shit and stuff so uh let's let's uh, see what else we got here inside the chats before we rock on yes i am quitting on you because i'm losing my voice because i've not had enough sleep and too much work wasn't the peach game coming out is that what you was on your Princess thing. Peach came out the, this past week. Yes. My niece is, I think she got it. She's super excited to have that. So yeah, I didn't, I didn't buy it because I had no desire to buy it, but if you guys like it, cool. Ritual Della says give away quake. Was I giving away quake? Did you give me a code for quake? Scott give away quake. Did you? I don't know. Did I? Your first name's Scott. Is that why he keeps calling you Scott? Yes. <laughs> That's, That's your first name's Rascal. <laughs> yeah, I, I was I wasn't born that way. I I, I discovered I was a rascal in, in in a Scott body, and I decided. Uh yes, my email, Mister uh, Biggie D, is right there. Rascal at me dot com. I repeat, I am rascal at me dot com. Just shoot me an email, and say, yeah, Biggie D. And, uh, whoops, I'm showing too many things. There we go. And I will go ahead and hook you up with that. So, bop, 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 bop. Well, this, this is cool, Biggie D, especially if you get off Rascals. It's, you know, always fun to talk to people and, yeah. So, Richard, tell, are you telling me you gave me a Quake code and I didn't write it down somewhere? Is that what you're telling me? Because I don't know what you're talking about there. It's a giveaway Quake. Now i got to look through Discord. Do you know how many times I talk to Ritual Dello in a given day? <clears throat> more than he talks back to me. Oh, Biggie D said he'll be <clears throat> on Sunday, so hopefully he'll be back up around. Let's see. He did have an extra code there. I didn't write that down. Damn it, Richard Dill. I'm sorry. No, I got it. I got it. All right. Oh. So at this point, let me see. Is Quake 2 really on Steam? Is that a thing? Um, How can that be? Let's see here. Quake 2... And there's my code. Oops. Do that so I can see it. And now I gotta go back to the giveaway tool. Go back. Find a uh come on, StreamYard. Stop dying on me now. And we're gonna do hashtag Q2. That's right. Hashtag Q2 for Quake 2. Biggie D, thank you for uh Sending the email. I'll get back to you tonight or tomorrow at the latest. And I'm going to look up Quake 2 on here and see what uh, coolness we have going on here. Quake 2. Sure enough, there's Quake 2 on here. Currently going for uh, 10 bucks, but hey, we're not, we're not uh, complaining about uh, free games here, are we? Because if we are, 
Don't look a gift horse in the mouth. They used to say that thing back in the day. If you don't know what that means, look it up. It's not bad. I'll have to look it up. <laughs> okay, I'm going to tell you anyway. Um, it used to tell you basically the overall health condition of the horse. Um, based on the condition of the teeth, you would tell the condition of their health and or age. Um, it also coincides with the uh, term long in the tooth. So look up the entomology on that and you will learn a few things. So this looks uh, beautified, much better than I originally played it back in the day. And that's when I was playing it on 3D FX cards. So um, Quake 2, I'm playing Quake and Quake 2. I go back and forth between them on my Xbox. But uh, this is smoking on here. Let's go ahead and get 30 more seconds on the clock. And we got a little more than that here on this uh, trailer to watch. But totally love uh, the whole Quake series. Quake 3, yeah, a little less. But uh, Quake 1 and 2, definitely my jam. This appears to come with this, a Nintendo 64 version of Quake 2 on it. That's smoking. Why is my Ethernet dogging me? All right, that's not cool. Oh, is, it, is it looking that horrible on uh, the regular stream? Because you're watching it somewhere else, too. Um, I know. It's, yeah, it's cutting out. Yeah, just like it is on on uh, StreamYard. Well, it's damn it the heck, okay? So this... Uh, know what Quake is. It's been out since 1997, so... This was last updated <laughs> in uh, November 1st of 2023, and it is playable on the Steam Deck. It does support Xbox controllers, and does say online co-op, split-screen co-op, um, all sorts of goodness going on here. And, uh, of course, Trent Reznor on the uh, soundtrack is always a good thing. So let's look up how many entries we got. I got six entries for Quake 2, and may the best person win, except MG. Did you just throw your name in there at the last second? No, no, no way, no way. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, am I allowed to put my name in? I don't know. Oh! oh. Right out from under me. <laughs> Darn it. Had you not entered, he would have lost. I know. See, you did my this. Own you made MG win. Oh, MG, my man. Congrats. You, you MG. make fun of us, we make fun of you. I'm sure it's a mutual love-hate relationship. Uh, you love me, I hate you. Uh, no, and so I've already said that to you via Discord. Enjoy, my friend, and congrats on the win. Definitely worth playing. It really is. All right, there we go. MG's tired of winning. Look at him. Uh, oh. Then don't enter, okay? All right. Wanker. I'm so tired of winning. Ah, so exhausting. The, you know, the Phantom is so tough. Oh, you have just, no idea. It's tiring. The pressure, oh. the pressure to keep winning is just uh, <sighs> so hard for MG. So hard. Well, I mean, that's the only winning he does. If he goes into games, he, he doesn't win there. So he he wins the games. <laughs> he doesn't win at the games. <laughs> ba -ba -ba. Oh. All right. So I think we have said hi to everybody. We've done everything. Uh, what's this I just got here? Oh, cool. Just thumbs up from somebody sending me some stuff all right i got nothing else to say what do you got uh you got anything going on this week uh anything you want to promote um i did just put out a um little short here uh before we started so please go check that out check out my channel gallery guy 88 um, have some great reviews uh things going on in my life burger time babe is there my wife uh, so please check that out. And um, as always, in honor of Shotgun Sean, please block that console fanboy. <laughs> if uh, if you get a chance, please do so. Well, that's all right, I'm... and don't forget promote the uh, the channel, guys. Because as soon as we hit a thousand, and I get uh, you know the cool little email from YouTube going, "Hey, you can you you can make money now," uh, then uh, I'm gonna give away stuff. All that stuff that I had no buy, no, I didn't buy at all, but it was donated by the fans of the show, the friends of the show, uh, will be ready to be given away. And let's see where we're at right now at the end of the show so we can put it in my show notes and track it for next week. We are currently at 975. 
Oh, man. We are so close. We've hit 120 so in the last 28 days alone. 120. So we just need 25 more to hit that 1,000. If everybody here who's still here, because what are we at? We got the, we're 20 right now, 20. gets one more person to uh, subscribe. Darn it to heck. You know, we'll beat 1,000. Danny, you came back. When, when did you sneak back in here? I see right there. There, there he is. All right. Did you read the email yet, Danny? Because I didn't check if you replied yet. So, um, you know, I, I've got a proposition for you there, Danny. Um, all right. Not that kind of proposition. I reserve that for MG. All right. In the bucket. Well, we're going to block that console fanboy, who I hear is not really a big thing anymore. But you know what? What the hell? Still, block. I am not buying subs. You just know. The only <laughs> subs I'm buying will be from, you know, Penn, uh, Penn State um you know uh cheesecakes or maybe i'm not i'm actually a fan of the tuna over at subway don't know why i grew up on tuna subs and i love them all right so there we go um everybody thank you for being here with us for the two hours thank you galaga guy for jumping on at the last minute i'm pretty sure it was ritual Della who pimped you out tonight Yes. So uh, thank you to uh, our mutual pimp, Ritual Dello, for, yes, love me some tuna subs, Jason. I mean, especially when you do, like, the salt and pepper and everything. Oh, damn it. I wish they delivered out here. They don't. And so next week is going to be the first Tuesday of the month, if I'm correct, because don't forget, Easter is coming up this Sunday. It is. So it's going to be Easter Sunday this weekend, which means it's actually the last day of the, the month, literally the 31st. And so the first Tuesday of the month is always gaming with the viewers. I'm going to go ahead and put something in the community uh, post saying, what games do you want to play? Because if you don't tell me some ideas, I'm just going to pull rabbits out of the hat. And I bet you they're going to be games that I'm good at. So um, Mario Kart. Anyways, go ahead. I, 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 I cleaned <laughs> up a Mario Kart last time. Yes. I did. So, sub. Oh my gosh, Subatuna. Yes, thank you. I mean, we're just gonna be going down this really, really, really bad road here. Stop it! Don't make, don't make me do that. So Jersey Mike's is good too. Steak? I do like Jersey Mike's. Matter of fact, I had a giant uh, cheesesteak at Jersey no. Mike's the other a uh, couple weeks ago when I was in town. Those things are expensive as shit. 20 bucks for a cheesesteak and i didn't do extra meat or nothing granted it's what they call the giant it's 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 probably about a 16 18 inch sub or something 20 bucks i mean jeez if i charged by the inch oh never mind all right (laughs) (laughs) on that note we are going to end the show thank you to everybody who hung with me thank you for uh gal guy uh for showing up uh, burger time, babe, for refilling his drink. Don't know why you had to get ice if you do actually have somebody that's watching the show who could have gotten you the ice, but you know, whatever. I get you. Yeah. Let me go ahead and find what our outro is, and I will see everybody next week on Gaming with Viewers. Take it easy. <laughs>